Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sneaker Files podcast. Can uh, I can uh, I start that again? Yeah, start, start again. That again? Hello and welcome to the Sneaker Files podcast. My name is Pierre. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, new listeners, you would know that, actually old listeners will know that Eugene is actually the normal host of our show, the creative genius behind the show. He's not normal. <laughs> Regular. But he's taking a step back tonight. Um, he's asked me to, volu- I volunteer to kind of just do the hosting because I, li- I, li- I like being in the limelight sometimes, you know? This was <laughs> a was violent that? coup. <laughs> yeah. We overthrew Gino. To the new listeners, I don't know how you guys found us, um, but thank you. Um, you can actually find us at our website, www.sneakerfiles.com. How you spell sneaker files is with the P-H, not the S-N-F-I-L-S. Yes. <laughs> Twitter, we are at sneaker files. Um, Instagram, at sneaker files underscore podcast. If you are watching us on video, um, we are actually broadcasting live at Stay Fresh. Uh, you can find them at www.stayingfresh.ca. Stay Fresh is a sneaker consignment store over at Richmond, probably the pre- premier consignment store here in the Lower Mainland. What do you guys think? Western Canada. All of Canada. All, All of Canada. Canada. Okay. North okay. America. They're awesome. Um, they're like family now to us, right, boys? To me, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so now Spend let's some introduce. Spend money here and they'll be family to you too. Let me introduce my co-hosts, okay? To my right. Joe. What's up, Joe? How's it going? Nothing. This is this is new for me. Oh, man. I'm getting nervous here, dude. But oh, please. Yeah, you got small beads coming. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> check the You're going to do good. You're going to do lighting. good. This Thank is you, the, buddy. This is the Lucky Pier takeover. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? Solid. Yeah? How's your week? Solid. Yeah? Everything's yeah. solid. Any cops? Any, yep. any news? Yep. But I don't think they're going to come out until the sneaker exchange sold. I've just fucked mm. that up. That's September. Sold. Right? Uh, no. Yes. The 23rd. 10th, 23rd. <laughs> it's going to be tough. I've um, actually marked that on my calendar already. I've, I've got so. something that will absolutely disintegrate panties and jock straps. What so, the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> means you'll like it a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was disintegrate confused. Disintegrate panties. I, I smell a, <laughs> a custom ID or something. Nope. No nope. way. No. That long of a lead time? Oh, it's going to be good. Well, why do, why do we have to wait that long? Because they're amazing. I don't get it. Why? Just break them out. No, I'm going to break it out and win whatever But I thought you are hypeless yeah. Joe, too. Th- These, why, you're creating sort of, hype right now. See? Is there some sort of contest oh, no, I'm we're hyping putting on? For, like, the most... well, I'm sure there's... Asymmetrical monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. Yep. Yeah. You'll see. You'll what see. about you? What did you picked up? Myself? Oh, dude. I am still... It's, it's going to be... I'm still on the hiatus right now. Summer but lockdown. the next shoe... Yeah, the next shoe... The next paycheck is going to be for a new shoe. Sick. Yeah. I think I might try to get some parlays because... Because oh, you're jealous? I'm jelly. Oh, I'm jelly for sure. Yeah. Nice. Is that everything? Can yeah, I move we'll on? I, I don't no, want to cut you off. Know. Move on. I'm going to be very what respectful. What kind of host are you without move cutting on. people off? I'm yeah. going to I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> slide into <laughs> Terrible. those. Terrible. I'm going to slide in slowly oh, there's like time, I slide Eugene. into those. There's yeah. time. Okay. Don't worry. So moving along to your right, Joe, is... It's Jason. What's up, Jason? How's Not it going? Much. Good, good, man. Yeah. Thanks for... Uh, Taking lead this uh, this evening, dude. I re- yeah, we already cool. did three takes. Yeah, <laughs> no nobody else know. knows that. I know. Three take Jake. <laughs> three take Jake. <laughs> What's going on with you, dude? Uh, not much. Yeah, yeah. Just just living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get just through the week. Surviving. Yeah, scratching the surviving. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've yeah. I've had that too. I've yeah. I've had a couple two weeks where I have I call it the uh, real life yips. <laughs> yips. What the hell is that? <laughs> In golf, they have a term where like you're at a bad. You explain it, buddy. Yips is just something where it's something should be so routine and informal that ends up you end up just royally fucking. <laughs> fucking I thought it, I thought it was the episode of Seinfeld where Kramer was like yelling at uh, Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio <laughs> he, in the in the donut shop, <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he dunked his donut. Yeah, he was yeah. getting He's all excited. Dunker. He's like, he doesn't he doesn't get phased for nothing. Yeah. He was yelling at him. That's what I thought. Yips yeah, I've been were. having he dunks dunk, so, but... like he hits. But you've been good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't really bought anything so yeah. that's my wife's happy 
So that's good. <laughs> the move's so, all good and everything. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's just uh, I, I was this thinking over this last Jesus week. This moving update. <laughs> yeah, moving update. <laughs> that's a segment. <laughs> uh, I was uh, kind of thinking about the um, last week when you guys were talking about, well, Eugene was making the joke that I haven't done any customs in like <laughs> fucking ever. Yeah, we're uh, just customizing the interior. So I'm of actually, house. yeah, I'm yeah. busy doing that, but. I will have something because I'm working with somebody right now. Oh, and wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We'll, uh, we'll, it's not, it's, it's, it's in its So he infancy. is doing something for Joe. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's not probably for Joe. one of his sons. <laughs> and we can actually reveal it because we're going to be doing um, an uh, interview, um, a podcast with this fellow in a month from now. Mm-hmm. So we'll be doing. Uh, you're giving out, you're not giving out so, spoiler alerts because I don't even know about these news. Yeah. So anyway, we, we've been chatting about stuff and cool. talking. So it'll be something fairly simple, but then we've got a few in a row that we've got planned. So. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it'll kind of so big plans get big me plans. back into doing it. Yeah, I miss doing it, and it's just kind of hard to get on the roll of doing that. So. You still got to do my um, eleven low jets colors. Well, yeah, when nope. you have money and shoes, then you can come <laughs> Wait, talk to me. Bear <laughs> down. Do we do we get do we get a Kurtzistan custom discount? Exactly. Yeah, you get fam fam price fam price <laughs> five that five percent off. We'll, we, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Free it's shipping. All. <laughs> right yeah. to the studio. Yeah, I want free that, that lizard skin. Nah. Lizard, li- no, you li- want li- li- Croc skin, lizard Croc skin, skin. <laughs> buttercream, buttercream. <laughs> Put a dead animal on it. Yeah. Lizard skin. Cool, cool. Lizard skin. All right, I'm um, going to move on now. Okay, yeah, I don't please wanna, do. Please I don't want to cut you off or anything. But no. you're right, the master Eugene. Hey, what's going on? Thanks, uh, for, thanks uh, for introducing me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he doesn't even get to say his own name. I'm sorry. I'm doing no. good. good. This is doing a lot, dude. This is a lot. <laughs> You're talking. I thought that bad. I forgot to look at the camera still. Oh, you know, you just, yeah. It's okay. No one's watching. I know. So, yeah. How are you, dude? How's it going? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Um, look at you. You're so relaxed. I'm so relaxed. Like, he doesn't I'm look just relaxed. watching you sweat. <laughs> usually, usually in that seat, I have to kind of try and move move things along i'm yeah. just watching a burn right now oh. i'm not saying it's burning just, i'm just it's I'm like just, incense it's yeah. not like a dynamite it's a wick burn. it's, it's not a dynamite better. wick it's, yeah, it's incense it's not a bc wildfire yet <laughs> no oh. no oh. Wild. anyone too actually listening or watching too soon, dude, too if you soon. are in the bc area i do encourage you to donate to the the canadian yeah. red cross at bc i did uh a couple of those text things i think there's ten dollar a piece if you text it in and i did uh a couple of those so what's the number I don't remember. Okay, don't I'll bring it. Did you think it was a mag raffle or something? <laughs> oh. I, I was trying to <laughs> enter for some raffles and I ended up donating money. For oh, all well, that's people, always a good thing. That's for all always the people a good thing. that don't know, what's going on? Like, what's happening? Why do we need to donate? Was it Northern BZ? Yeah. yeah. Interior there, BC, there's yeah. a very uncontrollable wildfire right now. It's been burning for a couple of weeks now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's so bad that it's even affecting Metro uh, Paulton, uh, uh, Lower Mainland BC. Yeah. And like when it gets that bad and it carries out for that long, you yeah. know it's a, it's a disaster. Yeah. And, and a lot of people lost their homes and, and a lot of property damage and whatnot and mm-hmm. it's come to like millions of dollars of yeah. damage and of course uh, anytime you donate to a red cross it is it is it just for um health and rescue services it's also to uh, replenish um survival needs and mm-hmm. uh, everyday needs like water and food and whatnot and this red- is becoming like an like an epidemic like it happens every year like it's it's every year we have fires and yeah. it seems like they kind of get worse and worse yeah. every year what is it joe it is um, you can Donate ten dollars to the fund instantly by texting fires F I R E S to four five six seven eight. Yes. So if you've got fire on your feet, <laughs> give it I'm up just and send stop it. talking. <laughs> <laughs> you better yeah. text that fucking number. So it's fires <laughs> to what's the number again? Four five six seven eight. So anyone that's living in BC, you know exactly how important this is right now. So mm-hmm. I encourage you to at least like text that once, maybe. Mm-hmm. I did it twice, one for me and one for my girlfriend, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. so that that's that. They're uh, family, cool. yeah, man. Right? Yeah. Everyone here is family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. Anyway, let's get into some more uh Awesome, some cheery stuff, right? Exactly. So everything, you buy anything lately? I haven't or? bought anything. I'm still on kind of a budget recovery mode. Yeah. Just because I went so nuts during uh, the last m- month or so. Yeah. But I am, I am desperately saving money <laughs> to multiply my chances of getting some Flyknit trainers. Oh, that's no. in like that's, three yeah. times, right? Three Two. times Space Jams. No, no. There you go, and that's why I wore these today. 
have we heard any uh, nice. any news about release numbers on that one or how hype it's going to be? They or? will not be super limited, <laughs> yeah. but the demand will overwhelm mm. It'll be the high. supply. Yeah. It'll be high. That's I'm what curious. I've heard. I'm curious but there's tons of colorways coming out eventually. So we all know which ones we're going for. Allegedly. Come on, yeah. guys. Dude, they're throwing out so the many colorways of Allegedly. everything nowadays. Like the Air Max 97s that are coming out yeah it's getting played. yeah they're getting a lot more yeah, yeah. so i don't know I, I missed out on the silver bullets but we'll talk about that later on you didn't miss out i still have a size you, nine but I you still steve have nash passed is basically what it is <laughs> hey, <laughs> former mvp i know two time two time two time consecutive Space jams. all right so as you all know there is a lot of news that has happened over the two week the, over the week um so what we're going to do is that before we get into all of that i actually prepared a little game oh okay um, Touche. You guys normally Touché. do the Pierre's top. Oh no, three that's coming. And all that BS. No, no that's, that's, we're just gonna play that again. Right, are, yeah, are you serious? No, I thought he's, we the, get he's a pass. the host. He doesn't. I can do whatever to. I want. All right, oh, fine. Yeah. He's gonna pull the host card on us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can no do doubt. whatever. It's a takeover. All right, yeah. hostile yeah. takeover. <laughs> yep. Actually, one of the things I wanted to bring up is one of our listeners actually reached out to me, and he, the the crew. You know how last um last episode we were wanting to name our sneaker files followers oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah 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 will chaltis uh he's a follower of the group of the um instagram account and he wants to be known as the sneaker feeliacs done done he thinks okay. that it is weird but awesome at the same time all of the followers of our podcast all the listeners i guess you you're all now <laughs> yeah. sneaker feliacs and it's not a bad word of course not it's no. scientific son filiac is so actually is a root word to and it is it um <laughs> the tendency to yeah man okay so from the greek philia <laughs> <laughs> named after ophelia i'm trying to ophelia. come off smart here dude there's you super smart it. go on man that's good all right so i'm it's, learning shit all the so time again, when what you're is talking it for the listeners again? tendency tendency to so tendency the tendency to, to yeah that's to, to sneak yeah. to sneak to sneak all right, there you go. Keep I like that. So thank you, you will yes. thank you will chaltis um, i kind of i kind of right. thought i said that already did you yeah, we made we we made a motion for it last week. Oh, yeah. yeah, but okay. it, we we, we wanted got confirmation, some and they were like, uh, "Yeah, the if they accept it, dope. then I'm willing they to." There you go. Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, so I step would like this it. notion. I would like that." Okay. All right. So on to the game. So let's lighten it up because we're gonna get to some heavy stuff later p- on. P- p- Pierre's new game. This is actually <laughs> a game for Joe. No. And this yes. is okay. This is for Joe. <laughs> wow. Hold so on. the reason why I did this is because over the last two episodes, um, I've gotten to know you quite well. Just, over, just over the last two episodes. No, just, just it's been over a year, but but because sure. we really <laughs> the last year was bullshit. The last two episodes, you stepped it out. He was so blazed, he didn't remember where he was. On yo, 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 yo! Shout out to Karuna, by the way. I almost <laughs> spit my water all over the board. <laughs> yeah. Careful, Karuna Matata. No, Karuna dude. Matata. Honestly, like it, the last two episodes kind of gave me an insight of what will push you over to hype oh, here level. We go. Here okay. We go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the game that I have is called since your name in Instagram is what? Hypeless Joe. Hypeless Joe. We're gonna call this game hype or hypeless. Okay? okay. So I'm gonna give you a couple of questions here. I have ten questions. You're gonna a- you're gonna answer if this is, this is- rapid fire. No, oh, no. Oh, we'll, we gotta keep it moving. <laughs> do you want to go rapid fire this oh, is good can, though go so you're gonna say if it is hype or hypeless okay do you need okay. reasons am i justifying we're just banging these out we're gonna bang this out okay. you're used okay. to banging stuff out so <laughs> quick okay do you want it quick sure do it man machine Let's... gun this shit. hype or hypeless correct yes okay okay <clears throat> ready question number one Krispy cream donuts hype fidget spinners <laughs> hypeless <laughs> Fid- <laughs> <laughs> fidget spinners with proceeds going to the spca hype long walks with on the beach hype long walks on the beach wearing parleys hype <laughs> mcdavid jordan fours hype. <laughs> yeezy boost golf version two breads hypeless beastie boys ultra boost hype jordan six by shameless tiki bar Oh, hype. <laughs> oh, that'd be the shit. Dunking versus shooting. Hype. <laughs> Dunking. Hype. Shooting. <laughs> yeah. Hype. Oh, what? Sorry, we're going to do one. <laughs> Is that a separate question? Yeah, sorry. Oh, they're both hype. <laughs> they're both hype, okay? <laughs> Jordan 2 by Parley. Oh, man. Hype. Cool. 
that that's about it. That concludes that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Did we keep track of which ones he said to what? Uh, like said it's on hype. record now. Don't there worry was a lot. Of, there I was mean, actually a hype. I think there was like the way. Yeah. 65% so, hype there. <laughs> what I wanted to do there is because there's certain shoes that I mixed in with causes because from what I've learned from you, you need an extra step to Appreciate do that. Appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to start it off with Krispy Kreme nice. donuts, right? Oh. They're always going to be hype. You answer <laughs> That's that. That's the baseline. <laughs> Original glazed. A little, a little, a little base. <laughs> nice. Then we got fidget spinners. That's Krispy Kreme OG. Yeah. <laughs> Frosted. Retro OG. <laughs> Kim spinner. Kardashian's dress made out of recycled material. <laughs> hype. Oh wow. See, you gotta get this guy thinking. It's hard. <laughs> Yours were too easy. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> I'm just. I'm sorry. I just had a. It's not a knock against anyone in, as an individual, but I just had in my in that episode of Family Guy where Peter just breaks his own <laughs> neck and, and ends it. <laughs> well, I'm in a tough spot. Yep. I'm out. You found it. You found yeah. You found the, uh, exactly. the X breaker, right? <laughs> you got to find she the weakness. Yeah. We're not playing that game ever again. There you go. That's awesome. So the next game I have is actually for Jason. All right. And since you haven't customized anything <laughs> in like 10 months. This is going to be easy then, right? I wanted to make sure yep. that you still have your customizing game on. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. So basically what we're going to do is that we're going to try color to, matching. This is perfect. We're going to build a sneaker. Okay. okay. And yep. I'm going to I'm going to give you two types of materials that we're going to choose from. Okay. And then that's going to be our shoe. And okay. Then- by Sunday, this better be yeah. rendered. <laughs> I gotta make them all by <laughs> no, next. No, it's just <laughs> render. Oh, dude, you gotta, give us a render. It might, it might oh, take, sure, I could do that. It might take six to eight months because we no, gotta he track can, some. You can render it on the computer. We'll get a look I'll, at uh, it. By I'll Sunday. do some concepting for you. Okay. okay. Water bottles or baby calf meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought about that. Ooh, but we're, we're gonna. Wow. You'll that's see, good. That's you'll okay. See, it's okay. See, okay. Okay. See. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is not gonna be rapid fire. Okay. That's all right. So you can you can think about this. So oh, the good. first one. This is gonna be a long episode. <laughs> it's four hour marathon tonight. <laughs> Laces. First one. First one. Shirtless Beltman leather. Yeah. Like from his body. Ooh. The leather that he used to oh, build. Okay. Oh, okay. Come, I like I like his more though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or West Side Homie Twill. What? Oh, which one would I want to use? Yeah. West Side Homie Twill. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I There's thought you would actually go for the leather on that one. Leather's this too hard is the to upper? work with. <laughs> I know. I, I, uh, this, this would probably be the body. Picking, the body. You're just this is the body. Materials yeah. 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 All okay. Right. Okay. So you final answer on that one? I think so. Yeah. Really? West yeah. Side Homie Twill. Eh? Yeah. Just because twill is easier to work with, or no? But I don't want sweaty belt man's gross, whatever <laughs> leather pleather belt or whatever it is. I was actually plus we got this sound. This is awesome. Fair. I was trying to look for the twill. video, trying yeah. to see what it was. Okay, right. the second one: um, mm-hmm. pony hair or dove feathers? Or dove feathers? Yeah. Pony hair's been done, so I tried dove feathers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well yeah. done. Well done. Yeah. For the soul, what are you gonna do? Uh, gum or icy? Uh, icy. Icy. Yeah. So it's not going to be good for the winter. It's going to be a summer shoe. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Elephant print or safari print? Elephant. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Any special colors of uh, elephant? Like black and gray. Nice. Yeah. The, 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 the OG. The, the OG yeah. kind of. Yeah. Um, West Side Homie Red or <laughs> Decadence is Over Blue? <laughs> Decadence is Over Blue. <laughs> So it's kind of gonna be a blue shoe. Yeah, then. I yeah, think Crayola yeah, yeah, is trying to so. like get these colors. Because the dove feathers are gonna <laughs> go nice right with now. that. The icy sole is gonna go nice with that. Mosaic or solid patterns? So you, the mosaic would probably be like like a what the a master mm. a what the oh yeah no nah, we'll go well judging where we're going you got a uh, lot of options that? for that rendering yeah I know <laughs> I'm gonna go with solid solid pattern yeah for now I gotta, well, I just wanna, I gotta it, reel it back what in a little bit reel it back in. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so a little too elephant crazy. Gray. Yeah, are you gonna work with fly knit or prime knit? Ooh, <laughs> prime knit. Prime knit. Well, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna go with that. It's more intact. Maybe yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. Guess. Boost or boost or air. <sighs> Remember, you have to. Yeah, I'm gonna go with air. air. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I would have picked air too. <laughs> Boost is out, man. Boost <laughs> decadent. For this one, it's kind of like the cover on the top. Or okay. uh, is it? Are you gonna cage it? Is it gonna be a strap? Or are you gonna use a bow? <laughs> a like bow? the Rihanna. It's gonna be like um, the Rihanna. Like the Rihanna. 
Oh, it's, that kind of, I thought you meant yeah. like fucking bow and arrow. I'm like, what's no, that it's going to be like a cage bow a strap bow on or something. My um, mind went a different way. Strap, cage, or bow. Bow, no. <laughs> wow. Bow does know. <laughs> cage is the rage. And uh, strap is... Strap. I'm going to go with strap. strap. Get into the strap. Okay. Yeah. And last question. Yeah. Are you going to go with a unicorn mane or T-Rex scales? Ooh. So these are rare freaking... Yeah, yeah. Pretty rare. Yeah. Give me that. The unicorn is like the unicorn of things. Yeah. Right? So that's but why wouldn't you go with T-Rex that? T-Rex doesn't but... even exist. Ooh. And unicorns do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like Pierre's logic here. <laughs> here. <laughs> he didn't play top three, so he hasn't freed his mind. Oh, I've got go. a top three right uh, now. <laughs> I'm going to go with T-Rex. 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 Get that yeah. nasty stuff in there. I think so. Get that. Get that. All right, all right. Well, that's, okay. That, so now, what do it. I, what do I got to do with that? No, He's like, make, make it, it now, now bitch. <laughs> Build it. <laughs> I got to come up with something. Eight all right, to ten weeks. So have we, have we marked down which ones I said? I, I marked it down. Okay, it then we'll in we'll, my head. We'll, <laughs> we'll find a T Rex recording over the next week. I will produce and we have something. It on radio. Oh, I, I will I produce something. something. I will produce something. Awesome. Concept awesome. next week. Let's get into new releases. He doesn't have a game. I don't want to. No, a game. unfortunately not. <laughs> I, you ran out of time. I was actually really nervous for these two games, so I wanted to, uh, just in case it was going to drag on. But yeah, maybe <laughs> next time. Don't worry about it. I don't know. Let's do a Pierce top three real quick. No top three. How about we do a Eugene top three? Yes. I'll give you, that I'll give you top five three. seconds to think of something. Topic. Four. Give me something. Give me something. I, well, I'm not the one. You wanted to do it. One. Thumbs okay, up. I got it. Okay. Uh, G -G 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 Gino's top three. <laughs> Uh, top three comedies. Movies or TV? Movies. Um, role models. I really like role models. Um, um, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Ooh, yeah. That's a comedy? And, you fucking kidding me. <laughs> and, That's an action movie. Um, uh, you guys can argue about that afterwards. Um, oh, fuck. oh, Dumb and Dumber. Never mind. Take it back. Oh, Dumb yes. and Dumber. Okay. Yes. So yeah. Dumb and Dumber... Ghostbusters role models and, and Ghostbusters. Okay. Role models, right. uh, just because it was so unexpectedly funny for me. I thought yeah. it was like, going to be a kid's movie <laughs> when, when I saw the trailer. The, the, only way, the only way I came up with that is I saw Back to the Future up there, and I was like, oh, movies. Oh, okay. No, and fair enough. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> That's a go. good one. So there you That's go. a good list. So after all that fun, uh, we're going to grab casually and gradually get into the hard stuff here but let's talk about new are we talking about booze <laughs> talking about drugs no i don't know what we're talking about <laughs> we're gonna talk about new releases now okay okay all right all right so what do we got any new releases uh jordan uh, side easy one there's only like one big one actually there's a history of flight 30s. yeah yeah uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass <laughs> so is there a, there was that question post? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys can have an, an opinion on this shoe as well. Uh, pass. Passola. Passola too. <laughs> yeah, I, I already knew what you guys were going to say. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I just said we're all in saving mode. And we're like, maybe those 13 I know. will change my mind. So those are going to sit though, you think? or Because they're actually nice. Hey, what came out today, Pierre? They came out with the uh, run through time pack, right? Is that what it's called? I don't mm. know if it's packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mid. Yeah, the, the, the Adidas, Adidas mid. It, uh, the Ultra Boost and yeah. the Energy Boost. As far as, to my knowledge, it's like the second ever um, Ultra Boost mids, right? Yeah. Yes. The Kith, Kith ones were the... Kith, the Kith Aspen yeah. was the... Holy, the, the resale value on that one, because I've been trying to... <sighs> I want out, that shoe, yeah. Yeah, man. It's they're, uh, they're crazy expensive. This, I don't know. This, the mid, the one that released today, I, I like... I like the style of the shoe. I like the silhouette. Ooh, they just don't like the uh, color. No, they kind of don't like that blue. That. No, uh, I, I like the blue, blue. Just not enough to mm. buy it. It's no. not on my it's list. It's not like, decadent if it came out, blue. That's why it wasn't. <laughs> How do you have like the first Dumb one blue. being like the Kith Aspen being so eye catching, mm -hmm. and it's got all that uh, different colors mm -hmm. woven in, and then you have a solid blue yeah. for the second release. Couldn't they have done something a little bit more extravagant with such a, you know, un un. You know, unused platform or, or, yeah. or silhouette. But well, it's a second ever. Mid. It's supposed to be Time a pack, throwback like, yeah. to, to what? the original, like a Spezial or something like that. Oh, I mean, if God. you go back far enough, you'll find an Adidas that's got yeah. that solid blue on it. Yeah, on, like a entire gazelle. upper. Oh, come on, that's too much. I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that if they're gonna go run, do you like the time, way they look? The color's okay, but I'm not buying. I'm not a huge fan of the mid as it is. You love Ultra Boost now. I don't like the mid. Boost fan. Parley mid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to have a so if that more was, bottles. So if it was the same color that you just bought, but in a mid, you'd you'd throw down? No. I'm, it's made of no. 20 bottles. Exactly. It depends how many bottles. Yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> so when they say so ten bottles, that means like five bottles each shoe. No, I think it's ten each. I think ten they said each, each upper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but now the new NBA uniforms have twenty. Twenty. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly so, Nike is wait a minute, wait a minute. Nike is New Jersey. This is okay. NBA Nike. has switched back to uh, Nike being the the was it Jersey. distributors of the of, of the official jersey. Yep. So. Uh, it's been Adidas for like five years, eight years, or some shit like that. So yeah. now this upcoming season, oh, why don't you tell us? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know anything about it. Somebody educate me. So so Nike's doing their thing, and instead of having a home in a weight jersey, do you know about this? Yep. Yeah. Go cool. ahead. You, you probably know it better than me then. Well, they're just going four different levels four. of jersey. Four. The two icons, the association. I'm going to botch the last two because I don't actually remember them. I just quickly scanned over what was being released. So and they're made out of recycled material? There's portions elements of it, yeah. of it, yeah. The way that they're body mapping, and they did a whole bunch of studies when guys sweat, where the heat comes off them yeah. and all that stuff, so it's going to be a performance garment. Wow. Yeah. Probably and 250 300 I'd imagine. Would for be an authentic? Elite, yeah. Right? Authentic, Fucking, yeah. Because do you guys fuck with, like, the actual game quality jerseys? No. You guys just no. buy, like, they're the highest, highest grade, quote Replica. Quote, replicas, Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I have no problems with it because I'm not balling in them and I'm not fucking breaking angles in them. So <laughs> yeah. I just need to look the part, dude. <laughs> like when I when I put on a, a replica jersey, like officially licensed replica jersey, yeah. then I just feel like I'm wearing like a costume of an NBA <laughs> player. You know what I mean? It's not so much like a, a, an athletic garment for me. I just want to look the part and yeah, like I get it. cheer with. Yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah, because like three hundred dollars for like a tank top. Come on, dude. That's too mm. much. Yeah. How much you pay for that Woo jet? I'm just kidding. <laughs> woo is Woo. Yeah. Woo, is, woo. woo is life. That is awesome. So are you going to grab it? Because it has recycled material all over the place. That's Well, I'm interested to see with the rest of the concepts. All I saw were the Warriors. I saw the concept for the Lakers. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. who else was in there? Maybe Phoenix. Yeah. But didn't they didn't really do, like, else. they didn't show every single one, right? They only showed LA the... did. Did they show the full? Apparently, from the, the icon, quick link that the, I read. What do they decide? Just like the white, what, yellow jerseys, though. What's that? Only Ooh. the only the top. Uh, what is it? Because it's a throwback to um, the original. So like eight an establishment has to be over teams. so many years. Yeah, so but, yeah, like certain you, ones will yeah. get the icon or whatever it is. I think the Lakers like are going with their Minneapolis. Yeah, for one of them, whatever it is, it'll yeah. be interesting. But any like so new expansion jerseys. teams yeah. wouldn't get that same sort no, of treatment. They'll but... get some good concepts, though. I hope. Yeah. I hope they've got some good good yeah. shit in the pipeline. They're gonna do some crazy. All-star well, I mean, they're going back. I mean, the one that was leaked forward. first, well, under Jordan brand, <laughs> Nike let Jordan handle the Charlotte Hornets unis, and they're the original yeah. like oh. early '90s Larry Johnson, <laughs> yeah. Grandma Ma Muggsy Bogues Charlotte Hornets mm-hmm. unis. Those are pretty sweet. And I think. Uh, NHL, I think, is they're getting new jerseys too. Adidas. Adidas. When it comes to like the NBA, nice. you know they're how the talent, nice. the talent has been it. shifted all over uh, from one coast to another now. So yeah. it's all all concentrated. How do you guys feel about like what the NHL did with this uh, All Star game when they split up like nations, like North well, America you, versus the world? Well, they're divisions. The, NBA, the All Star game. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the World Cup or the All Star game? All Star game. Yeah. So they just went in the, with each division had each it, like division. a three on three squad. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. So it was not East and West anymore? Not anymore. No, not last no. year. No, last year. Divisional. First year, it was like a three-on-three tournament. That sounds like fun. Yeah, it was. It, it was like it a had mini me, tournament, right? I mean, the All-Star game, I don't know. I think baseball has it right because they actually play for home field advantage for the World Series. There's something on the line. Yeah. But, I mean, this was just an exhibition I mean, game, right? In rank With of no... bullshit, like NFL Pro Bowl is a joke. <laughs> uh, NBA, but I'm going to say NHL is, has been worse because there's nothing on the line. They don't play for shit, and it's... They might as well just have the skills competition and call it a day. Yeah. yeah. And the NBA one's a little bit better because it ends up being the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. For forty eight minutes, and then uh, baseball's got the got the decent one because they actually play for something on the line. But. Is it is it just me is or the when the All Star Weekend Derby or whatever it is? Yeah, no, I mean the they have their own home game, run, maybe, uh, but the actual the actual game means something. A real game. Yeah. And they the winner that that get a trophy gets, or some shit. No. no, they get home field advantage for the World Series, oh. so they actually have something to play for. Ah, so is it just me, or is when All Star Weekend rolls up for NHL and NBA, I get more excited for Saturday Skills Competition? Yeah, yes. actual. It's not Absolutely. just me. Okay. Absolutely. And the last two dunk contests have surely helped because like that span from Vince in 2000 up until basically 
Zach Levine yeah. and yeah. Aaron Gordon has been like has fucking been filling by desert. color. Yeah. yeah. After yeah. that, just like the Q Rich, Rich era, era. Oh, don't get me wrong. There's been good, some, even Jason Richardson with the first behind the back yeah. in midair. That was dope. I mean, yeah. isolated incidents, but for have to, to have a head to head matchup like yeah. that, going back to Vince and Steve yeah. Francis and now it's, Levine and the dunk contest, mm-hmm. the the failed attempts really, really killed the momentum of of the actual event itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you miss like 80% of your dunks, like that really kills the whole vibe yeah. of the event. Well, I don't know why they, I don't like the timed aspect. Two attempts, three attempts, whatever, right? Well, Fucking uh, no, strike them had, out. They've had as much, exactly. You get two attempts and then you get the base yeah, man. 20 points or exactly. whatever. So one of the things be, that uh, in they're, my opinion. They're, they're actually thinking about doing is introducing pros versus these guys that like, dunk like for... Like the street pro- ball guys? Yeah. Pros versus oh, Joes. Oh, yeah. So, do you know that there's this movement? <laughs> there's this movement of pro dunkers who dunk yeah. for a living. Jordan Kilgannon. Yeah. Canadian what do you guys boy. think about yeah. that? That'd be sweet. That'd be fun. He's yeah. Some wacky shit. I say they should get like a trampoline or something as well. Why not? <laughs> You're one step away from mascots after that, mm. then, right? Do you remember I, I the mascot it. dunk contest? No. Mm. They that, have it in All Star Break. That was mid '90s stuff. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and they would get on fire. No, no, no but like they get the trampoline. Yeah. So you have like. The that was uh, I was quoting that um uh, what's that show with uh or that movie with Will Ferrell, where they do uh, oh um uh, what is that? It's like a frat movie. Oh, old, old, old school. school. Old school. <laughs> old school. <laughs> when the when the uh when they had that mascot and it caught on fire at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, so what else we got releasing? New releases? Anything that's else? That's it. There's you a tell me, fuck, dude. There's a Kyrie that's really nice. I don't know anything. A about bunch it. of colorways though, but there's a bunch of col- There's like a red and cement one that's really okay. nice. Go on. Yep. Kyrie three. Kyrie threes. There's the one thing that I'm in. in I'm really looking forward to is the Paul the Paul George um, light aquas. Mm. They look super nice. They're super light clean. Aqua. Is that yeah. a modified super Tiffany clean, colorway? Is that with the baby blue strap? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That oh, one speckle of. I actually had a theory that if they just went out and called that thing the Kyrie Mags, they would probably do gangbusters. Ooh. Hmm. If imagine a lighter mag, like a gray, because it's a it's a black interior. Man, I don't know. There's just maybe it's the we're we're seeing too many colorways. Yeah, of course. Because Dude. they like, released a mag inspired. LeBron. Lunar Charge that Ooh. basically oh, went yeah. straight to the discount. discount yeah. <laughs> what happened to Lunar Charge? It's all they were hot for Lunar a charges. I have Lunar Charges for working it's great out. Great shoe. It, it's a good brand. Overpriced. Shoe. How much is it? Because I like got 160? it. Like on... I think it was 160 when it came out. Uh, we just bought no, I think it, for I think it was higher than that. Maybe higher. Like 190. Who's the overpriced version too? Oh, maybe that's 190 then. Canadian. Okay, yeah. so um, so before we j- jump into news, I kind of want to share a little personal thing that I encountered over the last week. Okay, yeah, and it's shoe related. Don't get me wrong; I'm not, it's not. <laughs> oh, gonna be, it? uh, it's not going to be a dear John or anything. Even though I've been getting the real life yips, so it's all good. Yep, here we go. So here's the thing. Okay, so I have a buddy, and he. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing to be ashamed of, Pierre. <laughs> I have a buddy. Is one. This and is a he, story about himself. And so. he is anyway. an avid runner. Runs. Really athletic guy. And he's in in the market for new pairs of shoes. Right? So this is the type of guy that will do all the research, um, look at reviews, and then make a decision. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, he happens to find out that the Ultra Boost right now, because of reviews, is the best running shoe. Hmm. That's what they've said. Okay. And I believe him because um, I know that he does the research and personal opinion, I think they are. I've, I've actually ran with mine. Um, he does not like the general release colorways that they have now, um, but he likes, you know, the triple blacks, like monochrome, mm-hmm. but not in white, right? None of the GR releases right now, okay? So he's like, yeah, you know what? 260 That's really that's really pricey, but I'm willing to pay for it. But it's you damn sneakerheads that I can't get my monochrome. Yeah. And so I'm like, I didn't know how to react to that, you know, because at the same point. So what I'm trying to get at is I have there's this guy that's a, just a regular dude, not in the sneakerhead community that is saying that we are causing for him not to get the color that he wants. OK. Hmm. How do you guys feel about that? Because for me as a sneakerhead. I didn't know how to react and how to defend myself if I even need to. 
I don't think so. Has he, he put... Hang on, do you hear that? Sounds like the wambulance. <laughs> oh, like wow. Crying. Wow. Yeah. It's like, okay. I don't know. It's like, how do you really like... Oh well, like you finally found the shoe that you really like, but other people but are interested put any miles in it. On but it's it. another cares, thing too right? is that the one thing too is that I think sneakerheads also have a stigma behind the name sneakerhead. You have all these things that are probably people think about when you collect shoes or are in the sneaker game, and I think that's what he was trying to get at is that um, we sneakerheads somehow try to fuck it up for everybody else. Well, I don't because... think it's the sneakerheads. It's probably the resellers that fuck it up. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Yeah, right. Which came first? <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't so know. what like, do you guys think? Uh, Joe? Has he put any miles into an Ultra Boost to know that this is going to be the best shoe for him? No. Okay. But if he's going to drop 260, he wants to at least wear a color that if he doesn't, then he's going to wear it. Look, I'll, put, that's I'll, where... I'll, I'll give you a, a, an example of how this would compare in the sneaker head. <laughs> here kind it of, comes. Kind of, kind of, no, it's nothing <laughs> gross. But... Let's just say I just started collecting sneakers and I want to grow my sneaker collection. Should I be disappointed that my first Jordan will not be a bread one? No, because it's part of the game. Not the same. It's close. See, nope. and that's just it. If this guy's a, as like, big a I runner, can... if this if this we're talking about form over, f- f- yeah, function over form now. This then guy don't be says, so fucking picky. That's my point. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm getting. That's at. what you're getting. At. Color, yeah. color shouldn't matter here. If yeah. I'm a Jordan head and like I love Jordan ones, I can't cry about every time I miss a a bread or royal release. If I really am a Jordan head, I would probably buy all the single Jordan ones sitting on the shelf still. So yeah. what would you say to if you're in that situation? What would you say? Would you even try would, a different boost? Try that, a, try a cheaper boost to find out if he likes it. Tell like, him, look, sneakerheads have a problem buying these shoes too. I don't just walk into a store and buy myself a fucking triple black. That's not easy. I can't even get that color. Yeah. And I'm a sneakerhead that actually put in the work, quote unquote work, Dude, to get these shoes. Yeah. And I can't even get it. You know, and this fucking uh, common running guy <laughs> wants to just like walk into a store and buy it. It doesn't roll like that. that that's common the thing. Running so CRG. <laughs> it, it was so funny because when... Typical CRG. <laughs> common <laughs> release. Those, common running CRGs are the CRGs. worst. Yeah. <laughs> CRGs. It, it was pretty crazy for me because I found myself regurgitating Kanye West the the effect of mm-hmm. what he did. Like the triple blacks that he wore. So at he one can't point. get it or he just doesn't want to pay what other people are selling it for. That's another thing too, that he does he not want to pay come, resale. He could probably come to stay for yeah, yeah, every yeah. color. Yeah, every yeah. color. If you really wanted to. Anyway. So what color does yeah, he want? It's, yeah, what is he? He wants triple blacks? Triple blacks. Oh. And well, so because he doesn't he likes monochrome. Then he's not buying it just for running, dude. Like he wants to fucking flex too. No, so, he's not the type. Honestly, shut dude. the f- no. <laughs> swear. No. If swear. you are a utilitarian and you, don't you want the shoe just for running, you'll buy the flashiest, brightest color because you can run at night. I disagree. Go ahead. I disagree because the one thing is, is that these guys. He's got flashy clothes. Other people like. There's a reason why there's monochrome and monochrome pants and it's it's, hot it's, right it's a now. fashion it's a fashion state so hot. Well, that's his point that's yeah. what he's saying right is that so what does he, he want it? a monochrome shoe because why why that color he does not want anything too bright there okay. are many options where <laughs> you can buy an ultra boost or a pure boost or whatever that's not too quote-unquote bright there's what, grays but he's just going with ultra boost because he's that's the best shoe apparently okay that's fair he did his research he actually so wants what's, it for what's the closest then a to navy. a monochrome yeah probably a navy would be the easiest still or a black with a white buy sole a navy, does buy it have a, to be triple black a trace be, olive that's like, a bl- like a triple black upper with a white boost yeah, yeah. Right? What's, what's wrong with just getting a core black yeah just a core black one the core black is nice he's Absolutely, that's true. Yeah. But I still recommend that this gentleman find a cheaper all boost sole, like an energy boost, or what else is there? But the no, the he review, wants the review. Say like, that I, I get that, but I get that. But say, I think I, I don't. I might be misquoting here, but I think one of our uh, favorite East Coast East Early sneakerheads, Brookie, do oh, mentioned yeah. something yeah. about running an ultra boost and saying they were i think i'm quoting hot as fuck because okay. they're so squishy that your foot's like there's friction at all times i just suggest maybe they are reviewed well mm-hmm. go log some miles in it. actually go to like van runco or forerunners if this guy doesn't Support already do business there yeah and uh, a lot of these places will give you like a 60 mile guarantee mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. you don't or a 30 day i remember back in the day uh, running room used to give a 30 day running yeah. guarantee on even their highest end asics yeah go in log some miles most of these places will let you try them on 
and there'll be a treadmill right there. So the, go find it. He'll, he'll end up with like a navy or whatever, that petrol night colorway that whatever, mm-hmm. kind of dope but didn't sell at all. But he'll get a darker colorway. The, the one thing that really just irked me is that, okay, um, there are other options out there. You can't really blame us or even use us as a reason why you're not getting yes, the shoe that you want. That is true. I'm sure there's an A6 or a New Balance that well, rated really high, but man. those aren't being Ooh, bought fresh out by... Here's the thing. Like, um, let's just say that every shoe is different for everyone. I think that's fair to say. Mm-hmm. And Especially just because, in running. And just, just because the Ultra Boost fucking set someone else's feet on fire, maybe a homeboy in question, the yeah. CRG actually performs <laughs> really well in it, right? Yeah. yeah. And if you tell me that he doesn't like a particular... Uh, colorway just because it's whatever and he wants a triple black Mm -hmm. like sorry man he's like a fucking closet hype beast yeah see here's another thing too is that his remark his remark to me (laughs) closet hype beast (laughs) common running guy (laughs) closet hype beast the the one thing about us two guys is that would you guys agree that as sneakerheads, we already have a lot of stigma, negative stigma attached to what we are, what not we the, have. Not by the who? hypeless ones. <laughs> Whatever, Joe. <laughs> by, by who? By the common public. By the commoners. Yeah. By, wow. by just general public. By general public. By the CGs out yeah. there. <laughs> CGs. Right? Like, the thing I mean, is, most of these people don't know. Like the people right, that the, the commoners, as we have so rudely <laughs> labeled them, the normies. they have no fucking normies. idea. I would like to. I would like <laughs> oh, to man. officially so the change. normies out there. We <laughs> use normies to normies. Yeah, we actually use normies before. The normies you out there. Yeah. That. So <laughs> they general, don't know. The general they don't normies. know. So like ignorance is ignorance is bliss, man. <laughs> yeah. They don't fucking know and they don't care. And, like, and just, you know what? Tell them decadence is over. <laughs> yeah. But this is it. This is the character of my friend. So he, he knows just enough, and that's why I think. Yeah. Qualifies as the CHR, CHCRG. He, does, he, doesn't, CHRG. he doesn't realize it. Like he's closeted. You know. Yeah, again, man. we have, and he we has can, you can, on the side, knowing that you're like, I'm buying shoes. Look at me, my fancy shoes. And then he's like, he actually knocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually exactly. knocks. Exactly. But here's so he knows just enough to complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just about like spending money. It's not it for me. It's personally, it's it's not. What do you call that when you have buy things? Conspicuous consumption. Uh, consumption. It's not just well, that's it's cancer not just from the 1800s. It's but. not just. It's not just. It's not just like a valuable material good for me. Yeah. It's a passion. It's a way I I use this means to kind of get the feels. See, that's what yeah, I want to do. That's also guys. called hoarding. <laughs> so the, that's not hoarding. It's a psychological yeah, thing. Yeah. Yo, but here's the thing. Exactly. That's another thing too. Another stigma that we have as sneakerheads is that. Yo, you you're just hoarding shit. Oh fuck! Tell CRG uh, to run home. <laughs> see, <laughs> CR, tell CRG that I heard that the Jordan Five Premium that just Great came runner. out in the all the nope. in the all five <laughs> yeah. is like awesome for running. See again, again mile five. You're like as sneakerheads. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff. Like in our community, we love like we love we each get other. It, we course. get it right. But when we get out of it, dude, we are under cru- uh, scrutiny. Yeah. Just because of the money that we spend, and it's a stigma that I don't like, you know. And I always have to defend no one has, myself. No one has to know about it. Don't yeah, but that's you just... could be like Batman or something. Like that. just... But that's people... why Wednesdays are my best days. <laughs> that's, why <laughs> that's why people who know just enough are able to bust your balls about it. I mean, I've had discussions with friends of friends, you know, that will find out somehow that I'm into shoes, and they'll ask a question, and they just have no idea about that. You know, I get they, the chuckles though, dude. Like the type of personality that I am, though, they'll troll me. And uh, just tell them to simmer down, Normie. <laughs> yeah. Simmer down, Suck Normie. Suck a D. Yeah. Suck a D. Yeah. yeah, never stop calling. Even if you know their name, just keep calling him Norm. Yeah. <laughs> Norm. So, Norm, what Norm. do you do? See, that's why Every I like time coming, they enter the room, yeah. I like coming Normie. to these Wednesday meetings, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although my this name is, is also Pierre and coping. I collect shoes. So, it's, yeah. again, right, we so how did ta- that story end? What did you say? What did you tell CRG? Okay, so here's the thing that was I actually F U C R G. I just regurgitated <laughs> Kanye. I didn't. Uh, I didn't defend see. us, unfortunately. You just I helped them. You took his phone, downloaded eBay, and go. No, I just enjoy. told them. I just told them that there's stock X. It, it's it is what it is. If you if look, man, like you just have to tell them like we put in the work to get the shoes as well. And totally. if Normie is late to the fucking game, 
<laughs> then like so be it, man. Like, yeah. but do you even run with yours? Let me ask you. That's what he said. Tardy. Do you he even runs run with home yours? with it to put it into the closet? So what do you my use? My boost, you... I put a lot of mileage into it just okay. because of my job. Yeah, and I do find the benefits of wearing this bitch, right? Yeah, just because it's so comfortable. I'm not gonna say they're like high performance. I'm just gonna use the word comfortable. Do you do you think do you think about shoes or uh, triple blacks when you pull an outfit? I don't have. First of all, I don't have triple blacks, but that's besides the point. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, of course, the triple blacks are made for one. So Adidas ba- made the triple black okay. with one thing in mind. So basically, I want those Fashion. triple blacks because I want to run with them. Yeah, and you're fucking it up for me because I can't get them, and you're inflating the price. That's just like that would just be me saying like. I wanted like the next hot car because I want to drive fast, but like all these people keep buying all the Ferraris. So yeah. like Ferrari will just all. Well, that's a bad example. But here's the thing, though, dude. You guys killed it with the answer that I should have said. You you want triple blacks because you want that colorway yeah. for a reason. If you're a runner and you're like, I want specifically this yeah. color and this color only, then you don't they're care. A fucking closet hype beast, like I said. You're gonna ruin them anyways. Exactly. Right? So now, imagine like three days late after. Or, Five days after that, I have a response. It could be that he thing. realized that, oh, that it came in the triple black. I should have said bought, that. And I'll, he bought triple you... black and other shoes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, these re- these come in triple black. That'd be awesome. And then realize that, oh, shit. Like, they sell out because other people are interested in it because it's the ultra boost. I'll See, give but, you my real like, life example of uh, when I had to buy a shoe not in my favorite colorway just because I needed it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I went and I was going to play some indoor volleyball and some basketball all in the same weekend. It was like kind of thing I, I, I tried to do. Uh, <laughs> and I had no basketball shoes. I had no court shoes. That were functional because everything is retro and they're garbage, right? Okay. Uh, for the court, they're, they're beautiful, but they're garbage for the court. <laughs> um, so what I did was I, I I I did my research, blah blah blah, and I found the best shoe for the best value, and that at the time was the 2011 Hyperdunks. Mm-hmm. Like, awesome shoe. Nice. Probably the last Hyperdunk I would ever recommend, 2011s. And I went in there, all they had was like the grossest colors, right? And then I ended up buying like a, a, a pair I absolutely hated, but yeah. th- they were silver. It's not terrible, yeah. but it's not the one I wanted. Yeah. But at the same time, I didn't complain because it's, I needed that shoe for what I was gonna do. Exactly. And I was gonna be. Like, I, don't, I'm, I'm, I, I can't do it. You fuckers keep buying all the good colorways. It's yeah. basically you know I mean? it's basically the same type of situation, but reverse. Instead of you wearing it, he wants to run with it, but it's the same want for that colorway. So you just buy whatever you think that you can run with. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just say you like you really needed a car to go to work, and all they had was like. Red and blue cars left. See, but the thing and is, and you want a triple black. I, I, exactly. <laughs> or you're gonna be like, I can't buy that car. I'm gonna walk to work now. See, I'm gonna but, run. But that's the thing, guys. Is I think in my triple black shoes. What I did well, is that, that might deter you from the buying the car because you're like, I don't want that. I want it in this color. Like I'm spending this much money. I better get the fucking color I want. Yeah, and that's an argument to the shoes as well. I mean, right? at, at 260, 260 or 245 or whatever the hell the regular ones are now. Yeah. That's an argument too. It's like I better get the color I want. If it's... just get them the core black and a sharpie and tell them to go to town, <laughs> which is basically <laughs> what Fuck. it is, and send them to Kurtz for I was a just midsole. Say, I'm custom. busy. I'm fucking busy doing stuff. Yeah, I'm Kurtz with a sharpie at work. Yeah. Hundred dollar <laughs> custom job. Not even sharpie. Sharpie. <laughs> it's like dollar store sharpies. <laughs> the whole. The, the one thing it really did is because I felt that it was more than just us trying to grab the colorway that he has. I think it's the stigma. I think how, how he meant it. Because this is the type of guy that doesn't understand the culture. Well, he's trying to hurt you. As a sneakerhead, <laughs> did you feel like he was kind of attacking the culture? I thought so. Then fuck CRG, and you didn't, man. And you didn't stick up for us? <laughs> And you would I be for us. would I be too emotional if I did and just <laughs> throw down? <laughs> like, well, at least one tear, Pierre. Just let him know that he hit a nerve. I I did do that. I did All you have to like, do you know is what? give him the link to this podcast <laughs> after it airs, and he'll find <laughs> out. I really hope he doesn't listen. No, he, yeah. he listens. He's I'm actually sure one of my I'm best sure friends. He's a good so. guy. Yeah. yeah, and I understand. I j- well, that's why he's busting your balls. Then it has nothing yeah. to do with the shoe or anything. Oh, I think he was just your balls. guy. Doesn't no, even run. He wasn't. He wasn't busting. He doesn't run. He's the type of guy that understands. He's made comments to other sneaker friends. Yo, he's made comments to other sneakerhead friends of mine saying like, "Oh, that could have been a a mortgage payment." Or a loan to a house. Who's got a three hundred dollar mortgage? Okay, so then, so then, (laughs) just shit like that, you know. Two hundred sixty. Just just shit like that, right? Like, so what is he into? What do you know about him? What is he into? He's got a vice. Got some dirt. Yeah. This is the guy that's smokes weed. This this is Heisman. This is Mister Heisman. Really? Yeah. So he's in the football. There's, there's been some guys with a Heisman who. Are no, when not... I <laughs> <laughs> he killed his wife. <laughs> this guy is upstanding citizen, um, bachelor. Those are the fucking people you got to be careful. Of. <laughs> yeah. The fucking people that bachelor? assume to be too perfect. <laughs> yeah. or something. Uh, there's like serious. He's killer. my boy though. But yeah, serial that's killer. the thing though. So ne- but thank you guys. Now I know how to react. 
I, I will step up a little bit more next Please time. Please do. It's just one of those things where like, okay, do I go full force on this knowing that I'm really, really passionate it, it, no, about it? No, if they don't get it, they don't Chuck get Norris it. Chuck Norris style. And that's the thing though. So, okay, yeah. do I try to push it into something that they don't? It's like talking about religion, dude. What, to you? No, to no, this guy because no. he understands yeah. differently and I stand, understand differently. Well, you just let him know. He snoozes, he loses. <laughs> yeah. If he wants the shoes. It is that, man. If yeah. He's, if he's, you if gotta he's put into him it, but that, it's a layer that to it, much. though. It's a, it's yeah. a layer to it. It's, yeah. it's an There's attack levels on, to this on, shit. Sneaker, uh, on sneaker heads in general. Yeah, man. Okay. News, guys. Um, let's start off with... First of all, is it Vilone or is it Veloni or is it? It's Valone. not Veloni. It is phony Veloni <laughs> oh, yeah. right now. Are we Veloni or are we really doing the Vilone? I, yeah, I want to do the Vilone because I have a personal attachment to this. Because you do? Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, let, let him tell what us part? Part? No, no. Part? The reason why is because I saw the Air Force One Vilone collab. Nice shoe. And they were nice. I like the colorway, which is uh, predominantly black and an orange. Mm. And you know, I was into clothing, and this is a little bit hype, but not. It's mid hype to low. In the no, it's pretty hype. That's is pretty it hype, really? Yeah. Is it really? But yeah. they, you can buy stuff online. That's Good how luck. I measure. Does that mean it's not a, you, you, okay? Go on. <laughs> okay. Well, if I can crop, cop it online, I'm able because I can still get. I saw their. I went to their site. I can and go into like, a Louis Vuitton store any day of the week and buy shit online or uh, in the store. It's never sold out. Does yeah. that mean Louis Vuitton's not hype? Well, but I can't get anti-social. You anti- did. Allegedly, <laughs> don't, yeah, don't never say never. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Anyways, yeah. uh, it's mid to high level hype for Vlones. It was. Is it really? Okay. Let's so let him tell the story. <laughs> I am in the market for something that I could wear, that I could purchase and wear. Um, and that was. <laughs> <sorry>. Okay, <laughs> go on. I, I stopped that. So that was Vlone, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then the fact that it has a hip hop connection with mm-hmm. the ASAP crew. Yeah, hell yeah, let's do it. Mob it up. So I got. Both colorway, I got cause. <laughs> not, not, I got like because it's hip hop, you know? Right. I got the colorway, which is cool. Right. Um, it works for me. And then the news about a video that surfaced last week uh, regarding the uh, allegedly um, sexual assault of ASAP Barry, which is the, by ASAP Barry. By ASAP Barry, which is who is the founder of Viloni. Viloni. Valoni. Valoni. Valone. <laughs> My hot dog is Valone. Valone. <laughs> so after that, for me, um, out the door. Right. After watching the videos um, and looking at articles and, and reading about it, um, everything that I wanted and everything that I, any urge that I had about that brand went out of the door because I didn't want to, even if he was cleared, and he was, no, ish, no, fi- no files have. Um, it was settled. Yes, by both parties. So we know what that Let's just say it, uh, it was. It was. How much was, do you think? Do you think? I don't know. Maybe nothing happened. I don't know shit. <laughs> All I saw was some blurry ass video. I blurry. It was pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking Snapchat video. What do you want me to say? Yeah, it was really clear. But anyways, after all of that, I did not want to give any of my future earnings right to a company right that has or puts them their people mm-hmm. in situations like that. True. So, Respect. but I mean, there's there's probably a lot of companies out there that the same thing sort of happened that isn't in the public eye because of those individuals that run it mm-hmm. are much more in the public eye. I'm sure there's issues that have ca- happened at a lot of companies, but it's just we don't ever see it. Yeah. So, but this is pr- does the prominence of it make it, of course, more of an issue? Hell yes. Yeah. 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 yeah because yeah. it's been. I just think it's probably happens more often than we think. Mm-hmm. We just not. You know, well, and then there's levels. I mean, you, you go yeah. to like the Michael Vick situation. I mean, there's yeah. uh, different categories. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Obviously, yeah. it struck a nerve. What's yeah. crazy, guys, is doesn't make that... it okay. I'm just saying. No, never. No, no, never. Yeah. What's what's crazy is that they have been teasing a lot of these collabs with Nike mm-hmm. in the upcoming um, future. Yeah. Any news? Did Nike Gee. make a statement? Has nope. Nike made a statement? Not yet. Usually Nike is pretty vocal about shit like this. Like yeah. mm-hmm. really vocal about uh, any about kind it, yeah. of equality or abuse issues like that. Mm-hmm. Um, like look what happened with Manny Lance. Pacquiao mm-hmm. and Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Right away yeah. they already had shit like that out, right? Um, yeah, like, like I said, usually Nike, uh, Mark Parker in, in particular, like uh, uh, fucking applause to him. He's he's usually the one that's uh, publishing these 
uh, public statements concerning their signature athletes and yeah. whatnot. And uh, a lot of times they will drop athletes or w- whatever association they have with with his brand yeah and the, right now i haven't heard any public statements about uh, this situation yet well mm-hmm. we're, here, here's the thing is that they well i mean they'll tease collabs but there's not it's not written in stone so they don't of course need to, it, they don't need to make they can that just, statement you don't right? think we, so they just yeah. don't release it yeah they just like hey we're not Bury gonna it. work with you anymore right yeah Going right. going on in the future, I, I don't know if you were going to ask this, but like, how do you think the brand will will do uh, henceforth? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, because they've already lose, lost my sale or my my business. Yeah, because you're a good dude though, and you have good morals and shit. There's people out there that's just like fucking like hype more hype, and yeah, yeah, and and, and, and they, maybe they'd be like, oh, maybe now is my yeah. time to buy because it, it'll be more accessible. Have you guys people seen, like Pierre will stop buying? It. Have you guys seen the forums? I have. They're very very divided. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Like, very divided. There's yeah. people who will be like. Oh, it's not that bad. And like, first of all, I, did, I first of all, I was very, very disappointed. Re- I no, I I wanted to jump into these, um, the, these. Yeah, but it's threads. little kids, dude. And I have a feeling that if I were jumping in with my my thoughts, yeah, there's no way these kids can fathom what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they they don't understand how heinous and and how disrespectful, absolutely it is. serious yeah. the, the alleged uh, situation dude, is. Right? It's crazy. And these people were like, yeah, but like nothing really. I'm like, come on, man. Like, this is nothing to be joking about. And people are taking either this lightly. I don't know if they just understand the severity of of something like this happening. That's caught. And like, the fact that they're joking around about it makes it seem like it's okay. And that's what I'm not okay with, Mm -hmm. in my opinion, in the video that I saw. But yeah, Yeah. people, people are. If people like to troll on the internet yeah. so i mean it's <laughs> like pick your you, battles pray, man yeah. like there's some things that are so black and white yeah and like even if you don't say like oh i'm all for this like even if you don't say that if you have any yeah any there's ad- no gray area no, no you're and either are like, you're either but it's an you asshole don't say, exactly. or, you're or you're just fucking decent stupid what's mm-hmm. messed up though is that someone will post wanting to buy uh, v loan stuff, right? And then some other dude would go, "You support rape," and okay. It, first of all, n- not mean, that's, exactly. See, but that's the thing; it's just that stupidity that's in the forums. Here's one question for you guys, though: Did you guys see an increase of looking fours in mm. forums? No, I wouldn't have paid attention even mm. if I did. I did. I uh, didn't notice any change in the frequency but of that's, people I, looking I, I for this. I consider that tr- trolling. Like, consider yeah. the source. Yeah, you don't know what they're searching for. Yeah, I have a feeling the people in these forums or these Facebook groups don't understand the severity and the seriousness of the actual situation. And they're just finding a way to get some sort of recognition that their existence on Mm -hmm. the forums is is legitimate. More likes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not... Oh, my God. Like, I avoided talking about this for... For the entire time that, like, I didn't, even ever, if I were, even what, if I were hosting, I probably would have not talked about it. Just because really, yeah. I have such strong feelings towards it that yeah. I might just sound like an, a maniac when it comes to the things. Like, uh, uh, I think we're all united on that front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's 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 unanimous when it comes to this situation. Yeah, he's like, kiboshing it. Pierre's not into it anymore. Yeah, he's leaving. It's like, good for alone. you, man. Yeah. Like, first of all, I never fucked with that brand, anyways. Second Fuck of all, brand. exactly. And, and second of all, like, I would, I refuse to make this guy any fucking richer mm-hmm. if i were talking about it in a positive way i'd be an asshole if yeah. i talked about it in a negative way i at least have my stance but at the same time i'm bringing attention to the brand yeah, that's and true, i true. almost refuse to even talk negatively about it he just was, because it will bring attention he to was it. wearing supreme too so i'm banning supreme for for two days serious no, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um but that's my stance. It's yeah. absolutely heinous, inexcusable. It's not right. Uh, I there's not there's no way I can look around it as in like maybe no no mm-hmm. maybe no nothing. From what I saw, the information that I've gathered allegedly, um, whatever I saw or and whatever I read about, it, there's no excuse. Like absolutely nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. What what's crazy too, and it rever- reverberates because the week before we just talked about influencers and how they can positively influence yes. the brand that's very and this happens and like timing. negatively does it's, it yeah it's right? we've never like, ever no, covered oh, that uh, like a thousand times worse yeah. than you going yeah. in the positive oh, direction right like it's it's a landslide the other way like yeah. it just plus you actually gain more hate too like you gain more negative you probably gain a lot it's... of people or you probably gain a lot more visibility but both 
ne- more negative than positive. See, now, right? now you're now you're so, changing that to visibility. Visibility as in you're how, getting visibility. Yeah. Like who who hasn't heard about it, right? Or like it, it's intriguing because people are like, have you seen the video? And you're like, no. And then like, what are you gonna do? I'm, like, I'm gonna go see the video. Yeah. No one's telling me what it's about. It was so funny because so, like when I clicked, when, what drawn my attention was rest in peace, V Loan. Yeah, it's all clickbait. Header. It's clickbait. It's it, all it is. Yeah, it's people so are like, like, hey, go check the why. Here's oh, what it is, and then not... cycle through the video, and there it was. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Good first topic. Um, and then so it's not now. It's good. It's no, important. It's it's a good conversation that I had to get off my chest. Good for you. Right? Because I'm glad you is, brought it up it instead of me. It is one of those things. Yeah. No, it's worthy, worthy chat. All right. For the next topic, we are going to talk about. Balls. The ball family. Oh, we got some balls. Big yeah, baller the minute. Ball family. Big baller minute. As you guys all know, that uh, summer league just concluded last weekend, last week, I believe. Um, and surprisingly, or not, um, Lamar actually won MVP, mm. and the Lakers took the championship. Lonzo. Lonzo. Sorry, Lonzo. If Let's Lamar won. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Lavar. He's, he's that good. He's that good. Lavar. I'm gonna drop some stats. On here, okay? Do it! I'm going to drop some stats. Big baller brand, game one and two. Is that 0-2s? Eight points, eight, reba- eight rebounds, eight assists. Not bad. Um, game one, he had five. Game two, he had a triple-double. Okay. 11 points. <laughs> average, average. Um, second game, or oh, third game, Kobe ADs, okay? Good shoe. 36 points, 8 assists. 36. 11 rebounds. Went Damn. off on Kobe's. LeBron mm-hmm. was actually watching this game and tweeted what he's got on his feet. Yeah. Okay? So now he's Nike. starting to get Garner all these attention. Okay? Fourth game, Adidas Hardens. Okay? 16, 12, and 10. His first triple-double in Summer League. Mm. Okay? No. Second. 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 Sorry, second. Second. The first one was, was in... Um, Boston. Uh, fifth shoe, UA Under Armour Curry's. 14 points, 7 assists, 9 rebounds. Mm. Okay, still respectable, but... Those are good numbers, man. Really good numbers. He won MVP. Last he game... spoiled the fucking punchline. <laughs> I already said that. <laughs> okay. Last game, Jordan 31s, Joe. Ooh. Yeah. Highs or lows? Highs, actually. I think they were like Space Jams or something, or Black, black Toes or something damn, like that. Damn, yeah. damn. 14, 10, and 4. Mm-hmm. Um, he left he, he left early because he had the a four? calf strain. That was rebounds. Hmm. Yeah. Jordan's never hmm. known for a rebound. So, anymore. as you can mm-hmm. see, a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes that he was wearing. So, he gets all these criticism. You're a big baller brand. You're a big baller brand. Why, you are, why are you wearing shoes that are not big baller brand? Okay? <laughs> so, this why. is what he says. Under big baller brand... You are free to wear whatever you want. <laughs> Until we okay. sign some All right. signature athletes. How is that? What? Okay. Anyway. And then this is... Who's LeVar said that? Yeah, Lonzo. Okay. Okay. LeVar says, it's making a statement to the brands of what they could have had with an open mind. The players are the, band, the brand ambassadors. The brand is nothing without the players. Influencers. Keep that in your mind. Remember that influence. So the very first shoe that he had, like the real terrible point count, was no. his actual shoes. He his wore brand. them. The first two games, he wore the big baller brand shoes. Yes, his signature model. His signature model. His first game. Yeah. Did shit. Yeah. Okay. Second. Second game triple double. With the with no, third the, game was triple double. Yeah. Second game was triple double. Did, did, he had two triple doubles. No, but he played two games in his big baller brand. Yeah. And, and then the third games. game was his this, triple double. Yeah. No, his third game was Kobe's. That's and right. He and he had a triple double. Or sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thirty six, eight, and eleven. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's okay. So he did do okay in his own shoes. No. The second game. He did do okay in his second game. Joe, I like to see you put up those numbers. <laughs> he did. But yes, Joe, technically, it's a triple double. It's eleven points. Yeah. I mean, he averaged in that span really low, but on the second game, in a progression, he went from zero to hero on the second game. So are we talking about his but performance every, or his shoot? I'm yeah. throwing numbers out, boys. I'm throwing numbers but out. Almost, I'm throwing stats out. Okay, as well. okay. Let's so just what, what let's just get that here. Let's just tackle this one piece at a time. That's what I want. We want to talk Do about this. Do you think his numbers reflect the shoes he was wearing? Nope. You guys? Yes. Um, yeah. A performance athlete okay. wears certain equipment because it. So he got more play points better in it. Because he wore switch. better shoes. 
Is that what you're saying? No, I don't think that's I'm the only factor. Contributes. It's one factor. He got playing a triple a double. Te- on playing a different second team. Game, playing wearing Z- Lonzos or ZO twos. Yep. Yeah, he did. Right. So you can't. You can take away that um, kind of defense. Yeah, but the word tri- <laughs> triple double is triple okay. double, man. I'll, I'll take, take 36 easy. points in the Kobe AD every single game over top of an 11 point 10 board and whatever it is, 12 assist triple double. So you're saying every game. You're saying what was his numbers with the 36? Not... What was his numbers with the with the 36, Kobe AD? 8, and 11? I take that. Of course, I take that. Of course, but you. But I think a 36, 8, and 11 is as good as a 16. No, no, no. Is it as 10. good as an 11? What's what he wears in the second it's game? Probably like an 11, 11, 10. So right. Joe's basically putting yeah. different values to his triple doubles. But a triple double Which is a double be... digit in every category. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I get the semantics. Yeah, we understand that, but it doesn't. Yeah, like points matter. I'm just saying, Joe. Just actually because you putting, get a triple double, does that Joe is you? actually putting different values in yeah. the triple doubles he's getting? But a triple yeah. double is more valuable than a 36. No, Look, silly. To who? Are to you what? kidding me? To who? You do you? I think so. Do you rather you, have those two assists? Okay, here's so that's the, four points. 36 over top of the 11. How about this? Less the 36 from the other game. Okay, okay. That's a 21 point differential. I Give would. I would 36, mind. five and two. 36 points, five assists. Two rebounds. But that's not what he had. No, now I, you're getting fictional here to suit your own <laughs> confirmation hold bias. Hold on, hold on. 36, not having it. Joe, 36, Stay five in your and lane. Two. <laughs> Eugene, 36, five, and two. You're making this up now. 11, 10, and 11. Still a triple double. <laughs> Still a triple double. Which one bears weight more weight? Uh, I have to do some quick math. That's 30. You wouldn't? That's 40. No, you're hell no. Hell guy. Why? Hell no. Why? Because the point differential from his dimes to his own 30s. You're, you're, you're. You're, so you're, it, it, now you're creating something that doesn't exist. So this the dimes need to be in the uh, in the upper echelon. It's like so eight and what's the threshold for assists to make it? Well, you can calculate how many different. What's the just difference put, in assists from your fictional one to what he actually is worth had? Two points. That's what I'm getting at. I like hockey rules. You well, get a point in the assist for an hockey, assist right? is two points. He's the last contact before the guy makes a hoop. Oh, so you're putting a point. An, yes. An assist? Why? You're not, Why would you put an You're not a gambler, are you? An ass, a, a, an <laughs> because an just... assist translates to points. That's why yeah. you can easily So you can easily mathematically work out what the point value per game is. So, see, it's, see, this is the difference between us because I look at it in what has he done in that game, and I don't look at it in a He looks at the intangibles. Game, right? So he's been there. He's assisted twice. So his looks? Like... No, how good he looks, no, that kind of thing. No. Yeah, nice hair in game three. To me, a triple, triple double, double, no matter no what happens, see, means that because I am a point guard, dude, and you you know this. You're a guard too. You have a lot more um, bearing on the game if you have a triple double. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Look, bitch, if he can score a hundred points, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but only give me five assists, yeah. I'll take the hundred yeah, points. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care okay, if he gets okay, no okay, boards, get no that. steals, no nothing that. else. I get that. I'll I get take 100 that. points. I get that. I get that. And that was Kobe's career, basically. Yeah. So I'm saying <laughs> you like can... It's like 81, 2, and 1. You can mathematically that? work out the point value per game if you just give him a point value per for basket mm-hmm. and a point value for an assist, okay. like in okay. hockey. Okay. That's And that's okay. my point. point is, average? Is, is, that, is that second game triple-double in the ZO2 Prime, the wording triple-double is clickbait. In my opinion, as it's associated to his own shoe, and that's barely just, tripped yeah. over that triple that's double. That's my. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. But that's just my opinion because you can. Whereas in when he was wearing the ads, he fucking jumped over a triple okay. double. All right, but now think about. It. So say for example, you're not thinking of shoes, and you're looking at it from a point perspective. <laughs> Good podcast, right? Right? <laughs> Does it go up? What's, like, what is he about? in yeah, a linear improved. progression no, where he's, he's trending up? Right. His yeah. performance, you mean? Yeah. Of it, course, he's going. Okay, yeah, so how does that correlate to shoes then? Right, because the more points he scores, no, the more value There's he's no worth. control. If you're gonna do experiment, there's there's no control. You need to have a factor that's always balanced, and the shoes are not. Look, they're not a scientifically sound family, and those shoes are not technologically <laughs> advanced. <laughs> so yeah. They know. are just throwing everything in the pool mm-hmm. and hope and hoping hoping something would float up. So, do you it, think, Eugene, that has, the shoes has a performance? Um, factor in the shoe. Absolutely. In the no, but okay. didn't he also yeah, how, have... How, but so does like how each getting shoe, your rest and eating and the time that you're playing during the day. How shoe Elevation. To, uh, there's tons of stuff that affect it. How each shoe the shoes. is equatable to how many more points he can score, we, we will never find out. Mm-hmm. We it, will in a full season if it goes that Yeah, route. if he wears like, like you know... Consistently the same thing. Yeah. yeah. 
if if you can chart it as in saying like, oh, he always scores more points wearing Kobe's through an eighty-two game span. There's your numbers, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. they're just gonna fucking put on a new shoe on this kid like every game, and you can't get any scientific numbers from no. that. Not yeah. that we're interested in. There's that too whole, many. There's whole too, whole many there's okay, too many so, variables. But I mean, it, to, to 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 really give this kid credit, the kid basketball is great. He wants summer league MVP. That should be the end of the story. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, mm-hmm. the cloud that over that hangs over all of this is basically what I'm sure you're going to bridge into here. Is the moment. shoes. Well, the shoes. Go say what you're going to say, T. No, it's okay. Is that the Keep end going. of... No. We're, we're, we're diving into a whole different factor here, guys. Of course. A whole different factor. So we've covered the points, right? Yeah. Um, we've covered if there is... A, a, the shoes has any determination and the points that he's made over the last few games that he's had. Can't tell over a five-game span. Of course, but... but- and yes, yes, you can. We have to Come acknowledge. On, Joe, the, we have to. Me. We have to acknowledge the fact that l- look at the t- toe injuries that Jordan had with the two. Uh, can't ignore that. Over I mean, how many games? Well, I mean, he only played thirty six. He had like half a season that year. If that's that. more than five, if, if that. Yeah. But then look at how LeBron had to ditch. Was it the eleven or the twelve? Mm-hmm. He had to ditch the 11s and then was playing in the elite and the soldier during the playoffs soldiers for, for health <laughs> for health reason. And I mean, from what I remember from back in the day, that's now three, four years ago, they had tried a whole bunch of different customs to keep him in that 11 model with different la- levels of cushioning and whatever. And his foot was just fucked up in that boot. It's just the fact that we but were, we're talking about like to. two hours a day in, in whatever shoe he was wearing. How do you get any significant numbers that's valid? You, you know, you, you can't track something over such a small sample. Because things don't fit that way. There's a reason why LeBron, well, aside from the idea that he was ditching the shoe for publicity halfway through games. No, not that like guy. Were, I'm talking about a uh, ball. But there's if he didn't like, if LeBron didn't like a shoe in the first game due to how it was making him perform on an, an entire game for, for, for Lonzo is a fair assessment of that shoe if he didn't like it and wanted to switch over to the kobe's Mm -hmm. plus it brings a whole bunch of publicity to the to the spectacle that is now the ball family (laughs) of course he's going to do it so i have a question was james lebron james was at the game that he was playing when he was playing in the kobe's yep was that the only game that he was at yes so does that have a factor on your performance trying to impress a potentially someone that might draw you into that Here's brand a, yeah. as a future, right? Like, yeah. you, or you just want to play good in in front of someone of one of the best players in the game, yeah. as it stands. Like, and another thing too, you is want that to impress those people. What so if would you play differently? What if you're playing a summer league team that does not have the same pieces of the same defense as the other team, where you can? That's score, what I'm saying. That yeah. there's so many variables. So it's many really variables. hard. Yes, you can. You get at a very core. You can say, yeah, he played better in that shoe. Yeah. But there's lots of other factors like here are the facts. It. Okay, we have a progression trending up. He's won MVP. He's a good basketball player. Sure. Right. Should be the end of the story. And he's worn <laughs> different types of shoes. And then now the, what? Now this is where we're gonna get into. Okay. All right. So this brings up the next revolution to a sneaker free agency. Okay. Has this ever been technically done during a season before? Not. The last one was probably, and it was low key, Kobe. Remember when we had a sneaker, when he had a sneaker uh, free agency where he was trying on different types of shoes? Um, this is now, he's now being kind of mirrored to this. Was Kobe's dad like, but you, he can wear whatever see, he wants? Exactly. See, I don't even agree that this would be a free agency, in my opinion, because he has his own fucking signature model right but now. But he's not signed point, to that's He a, signed that's a big a baller point. brand, is he not? There's no paperwork. How do, you, well, How do we know? There's no paperwork. It's, it's his name. It's, yeah. it's, it doesn't yeah. mean shit. It doesn't mean he... Ha- Maybe his contract says he can wear whatever he wants. Maybe exactly. he has a contract. All right, boys. But Here that's irrelevant. You're still not going to see it at a, at, a, at a pinnacle elite athletic level. Like, you're not going to... You wouldn't have seen Shaq repping Reebok and then having his Dunkman brand at Walmart. Joke. Shaq didn't fucking go home and sew his own shoes like the Joke. ball family. Exactly. Okay, let me. <laughs> totally different. It doesn't so, matter. Yeah, You're yeah. still a legitimate brand. I hope. You're it's a brand. Image is everything. And is, the yeah. image is tarnished. Look, excuse me, guys. Excuse here. me. So here's the next thing, though. So now, under the big baller brand that they have embraced, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. What you are describing is a general business model for what. <laughs> what marketing, what Nike, what what they have as guidelines to what you need to do as a signature shoe guy, 
don't wear anything else but us, right? If someone else is paying you, absolutely. You yeah, have if to you're do... paying yourself, you can wear whatever you exactly. want. Exactly. Yes. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Here's um, the thing. That's what this whole big baller brand, it's it's a lifestyle. But that's dumb because then you're, the whole point is to sell your own Oh, Jason, shoe. Jason, we're not talking about dumb or smart. We're talking about what he's allowed to do. And I agree. That's but, dumb. Like, <laughs> it's in your best interest to sell product. Yes. Your, like, and that's a dumbass mistake. Not a mistake. Decision they're see, making. See, I agree with is, the dumb and part. And this is where. Because you're just proving is, that your product is shit and, if you're not going to wear it. Yes. This is where, again, in my opinion, the beginning and end of this branch of the conversation should be tied into what you were talking about. How LeVar says the brands are nothing without the athlete. While well, you have big baller brand and a ZO2 Prime. And your athlete's not wearing that shoe. So what are you? They're you're nothing. N- you're, that's, <laughs> you're nothing. They don't have an athlete. Okay, guys. Actually, I'm in the other the ball side on this fact. Yeah, I, I, yep, you yeah like tell, tell your side. The yeah. reason why is because I like the freedom to do so and please whatever I want. If I want to ball in my signature shoes 80% of the time and have that 20% wearing whatever the hell I want, kudos to me. I, I have my own name so, on it. Okay, let's so get sixty percent of the time he was balling in other people's shoes. Let's dig a little deeper <laughs> here. Okay, what's that worth to you? Because he was facing anywhere from ten to twenty million dollars in endorsements from one company if this whole fiasco with his dad hadn't happened. So what's that worth to you? What's your freedom worth? And I, I mean, unfortunately, we get the the rhetoric and the narrative from people out there that Nike or Reebok or Under Armour are slavery Mm -hmm. when it comes to their athletes. So it's nice that this entrepreneurial family, if you want to call them that, are giving this individual in Lonzo his freedom, freedom, quote unquote. But what's that ultimately worth if you are a business? like The athletic side, you've got your performance on the field, Mm -hmm. and then you've got your business side, your endorsements, and your brand image. Okay. So, so what's, that's no, a, but I'm asking you, what's that worth to you? Excellent question. If you're allowed the 20% of the time to wear your own Lucky P twos, we'll call <laughs> them, uh, 20% of the time. Yeah. And the other percent of the time, the 80% of the time, you're only going to get a one or $2 million endorsement deal mm-hmm. to wear that. Mm-hmm. But if you'd go 100% of the time with a brand, you'd be in the 10, $20 million. Okay. So, what's your freedom really worth? Like, I are t- you going to be like, this is dad Gino here and we're one Chuck to Twos one day just for so. the fuck of it to yeah. see how it goes. That was fun. Great question. <laughs> the one answer that I'm going to say is that it's it's hard to quantify. Nope. I'm asking you to directly quantify it. What's it worth to you in terms of millions of dollars? Because the idea <laughs> of so having freedom. Money. I know. I know. I know. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you a check for whatever it is right now. 20% of the time, you got to wear the lucky P2s. What if my purpose in life is not... What if my purpose it. in, in life and my my goal for this brand is to create a lifestyle? And and that might mean that it's worth 10, 20 millions that I'm losing out. But this lifestyle where kids can be like, holy shit, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh my God, $500 like, a they pair. They need a brand to tell you you can do whatever you want? At what is this? At $500 what if that's their pop? goal? What if that is their goal? There are- no, because exactly what you're saying is do whatever the fuck you want. Those kids are going to go, okay, well, I'm not going to spend $500. I'm going to go and spend I don't $150 need to be- and, I, and screw you because I'm doing what I want. Look, here, I'm, 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 I'm living thing. the baller lifestyle. I don't need to be loyal. I, I don't need to be not loyal to a brand money. just so I can be like, I can be loyal to other brands. All right, it's not Buddhism, okay? No, what if every <laughs> shoe, that, every shoe Joe brand's goal is to be that person needs to buy only our product. That's what if their that, goal. What it if, isn't about like so Nike's you, like, well, yeah, I just want you to buy shoes from us twenty percent of the time. Okay. We're okay with you going to what Adidas. What if they and turn around this. that lifestyle? Yeah. What if they turn around that lifestyle brand, that choice, and turn it into? Into profit. It's not the fucking. How do you make money? No, no, no. But now you're 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 counterintuitive now. Now you've just just discredited yourself as a businessman. Unfortunately, on this topic, not in any other realm. How are you monetizing your freedom, business, like freedom of choice for consumers? How are you monetizing that for yourself? You're you're basically saying. uh, I like the idea of where you're going with it, but like, here's my brand, okay? Like unicorns, (laughs) and I'm gonna make money by telling you you can shop at whatever brand you want. Does that make sense? 
I have it'll, the power to do whatever I want. It'll be like if you were the owner, the only way, not restricted, the only way you would not restricted how, how by would anyone. How would you make money? The only way you would make money is if you were Amazon and you're like you can buy any Pierre of these products. You have all of it Amazon, in your warehouse. But yeah. Amazon makes ton load that's of money what I'm saying. because but they have a lifestyle but and they have a brand. brand. You're yeah. not buying but Amazon. Okay. If they all of brands start selling Nike and Adidas yes, and Reebok, exactly. okay, then. now we have something to talk about. No. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, I'll give no. you I'll give you another example, <laughs> right. okay? So, but you still didn't answer the question. How much is it worth? He to wants you? The, he wants lifestyle. He wants lifestyle. It's the lifestyle over, that I'm yeah. picking. So he wants the 1 to 2 million a year rather than instead of the 10 or 20 instead of 10. For a contract length. Now for think, a term. think back. You're, See, here's the you're thing. It's like I worry da- old Daddy right Ball's gonna give him more. You're 18, 19 <laughs> years old right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you pick two million and fucking wear whatever Dude. you want, or would you want twenty million to wear one brand? Of course, I want the twenty million. Done. But Stop the, talking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Answered. But the and... one thing that is that when I'm in that situation, I'm probably gonna take the money. But there's also. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that branding that they're trying to do, okay? Mm-hmm. That branding, that lifestyle choice where they can do whatever they want. Here's here, I'm going to throw it out there. Louis Vuitton, okay? Uh, Porsche, okay? Yeah. What about those? Ferrari, okay? They're not telling you you can do what you want. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're, they're, they're a brand, right? Yeah, 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 you yeah. say that and you'll be like, high There's end. an image. There's an image, right? Yeah. You, no one can get that, right? There's a certain group of people that can get that. But they sell, right? Yeah. Because they've captured a brand, okay? Whether they're, whether they're selling shirts, hats, clothing lines, um, keychains, it's still a brand. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a company. It's a billion dollar, whatever it is company. Yeah, but their, their motto as a, as a company isn't be like, uh, here's our Porsche, but if you feel like buying Ferrari and Mercedes, go ahead. But a Porsche. They're not doing that. They're but like. A, Porsche is a lifestyle. If but you want to be thing. part of this lifestyle, you buy Porsche. Of course. You don't buy Nike. You don't buy this. You but buy Porsche. How do you know that? How do you know that that is the situation? Because it's been drilled in your head that this is what you do. You're an elitist, right? You have a Porsche. You have a Ferrari. That's what you do. You're. you're but they're not selling the the ball lifestyle. Know, like their not, product would be their lifestyle. But they have a different lifestyle. They're they're yeah. using a different lifestyle. So like like I said, guys, what I'm just trying to get at is that. This is a mold that is different from the rest. And I get it. You know, I do see the, the value of, of a business and it's in it to make money, right? But there's also types of brands out there that has established a certain lifestyle, which they turn into something like, like profit in different ways. Okay. No, Pierre, mm-hmm. the only difference between your example and the Ball family's example is when you go and buy a Ferrari or a Louis Vuitton shit, they will not openly say, go shop around, buy other brands. They, in fact, make collections of shit, mm-hmm. so you have to buy multiple things to complete a collection. Yeah. That's very much in vain with repeat customers. Okay. You don't go out there and be like, Man, if you buy my stuff, that means you can buy anyone else's stuff. That's the freedom of buying my stuff. No, I understand. What the hell kind of business model? Well, or and business- and it, that's levels because we had discussed this in in group chat the other day about how Ferrari has their uh, you know extremely rare runs of of cars yeah. like we're talking like the Enzo when it first came out and like even going back like the F forty, the F fifty, and uh, whatever the new one is, the La Ferrari or whatever yeah. it is. You have to be such an elite level yeah. buyer that has all of the previous limited editions yeah, before crazy. you're even sent the invite oh, wow. and even to get that invite yeah. you have to rep that brand to a certain level you have to be so, like a registered but that's where these purchaser ath- of very specific models and of that's that where car. these athletes now are the collectors of these cars because the brands themselves want you head to toe in all of that to make mm-hmm. it worth their while because it's a it's, commitment yeah it's right? not it's not worth a brand's time or money to have them even dabbling in other shit which is the side note to this is is uh have we seen kanye wearing any other shit other than his own yeezy or adidas stuff since his new deal last summer because he had rocked like vans and was fucking around with some other stuff yeah last year i have seen mm. no pictures that has any other type of shoes that yeah because i mean he got it he had a 10 million dollar deal allegedly no. yeah. wearing other stuff yeah. he's wearing I a lot wonder, of prototypes which is dope dude he's yeah. wearing the new triple black runners apparently i saw that today so, so it's it goes. Yeah. but I, I don't understand what it's the ball brand the big baller brand 
has made a few wrong moves that Jason was alluding to. Mm-hmm. If they want to portray the the free to do what you want lifestyle to the kids that, you know, you don't have to be locked in and all about this one thing, you can't price yourself at four ninety five for mm-hmm. a pair of shoes and tweet out that sure. if you can't afford these shoes, you're not a big <laughs> baller. It's just he shot Their himself. Their marketing. Killer yeah. point. Yo, Joe, yeah. Joe, that is a killer point, okay? Um, let me get into deeper, all right? Because um, I go thought deeper. about this. Let's go deeper. Um, when it comes to an racial mo- motivation. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> okay. R- racial? Racial. Okay. okay. Let's be careful with this. No, I understand. Um, Allegedly will be used a lot here. <laughs> The, the big baller brand, say they market it for African Americans, okay? Um, the NBA is, you know, sometimes they have that, like just in the NFL, where there is a slavery aspect, okay? Yeah. Where they are signed, they're, you know, Nike r- runs them, whatever, they own them, blah, 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 stuff well, like that. 29 of the 30 or 30 of the 31 owners are white. Yeah. Mike's the only one who's got, I mean full ownership i yeah. understand there's okay there's and, and i mean this this is just this is me speculating okay this is me this is not facts or anything okay um so now they have this brand where freedom equality i can do whatever i want i am not attached to some guy that tells me what to do and what not to do but then what are you <clears throat> like I, I i completely understand where you're going with that but you have to immediately then assess is this a business like what what is this if you lifestyle but then there's nothing to sell what is are that they, what jason's what are they, got there's, yeah, there's there's nothing how, how are they going to be sustainable okay let me let me do this okay so they start a lifestyle brand in the lower demographic where they where they they're selling corollas right now and they'll sell a, a lot of Corollas. No, and it's not the shoes. It's not the shoes. Okay. It's not the shoes. Maybe it's the clothing. Maybe it's the hats. And whatever money they get from that, which is easy to buy from kids, then they go into an upper echelon or they move up. The and road. I think that's so fair. But I, th- I think, think it's branding. right now they haven't been developing the brand as something that you want to buy. Mm. The dad is kind of tarnish that vision early on yeah and already and i understand that he wants to get to that elite level where like hey we really want to be in uh, uh, a luxury brand Th- three billion um, for his sons we yeah. want to be in that level but i mean okay, the here. way that you've approached it and the way that you've already uh, encapsulated everything has already ostracized different okay. people and 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 it's really your, your goal is a, in a company is to, to draw people in and to buy your product and to be a part of whatever it is that you're doing he and is part of something yeah okay. he is but yeah. it's his attitude towards it he's he's got partially a good attitude what if you I, know and partially a real shit attitude what if i tell you and you can't you you have to be really mindful about how you're how you know, like the way that he treated that woman on the, the yeah. news report no, was absolutely. like completely disrespectful. Absolutely. And like all of a sudden, it's like in one aspect you're like becoming really popular, and then the other aspect yeah. you're becoming for kind of a douchebag. You know, yeah. he hasn't. And you're like constantly. Your brand should always be doing stuff that's he's positive and moving toned forward, it down. right? He's toned it down yeah. since that incident um, on 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 TV mm-hmm. where he, you know, was very fe- uh, anti. He was very. He was rude to the girl. I was so. Here's something that I was gonna throw in at some point. Okay. Um, why not now? Um, that I was reading about that I didn't realize, and I can understand. You know why his attitude has been the way it has been to a certain degree, and I was reading an article saying that his wife had recently um, had a stroke two months ago. Oh. So she was completely rendered like speechless, like she can't talk. Um, I think she showed up recently at um, Lonzo's. Uh, the, the 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 summer, summer league, league? An- yeah. ending was the first time that she wow. had been out in public. No wonder I've um, never. She's she's very. It's pretty. been very very low key, yeah. right? It hasn't been very much discussion, I guess. But I, I happened to see an article about it, and and so I can understand like his like he's a very big personality to begin with. Yeah. You also his wife is apparently a very big personality as well, and so you can imagine what it's like to now have you know your wife or your spouse or whoever go through this thing your whole family's going through it you got one kid in high school two i think both of them were in university one graduating you know one's being drafted yeah. you're starting a brand you're trying to sell a shoe you're trying to look after your family you're trying to do all these things and you're trying to deal with something tragic in your family yeah i didn't even and know so that. crazy. you can imagine like 
LeVar or you trying to deal, you know, like partially. We've all done, gone through shit in our lives, yeah. I'm sure. So I understand that there's parts where depending on how you deal with you know, life, mm -hmm. you may act irrationally. Yeah. It might be part of your big personality. It might be, you know, some people deal with things outwardly. Plus some people doesn't... deal with it inwardly. This is new so, to him too, right? Like course. he doesn't know yeah. all this stuff, right? But he's I still down. Do, it still doesn't you would think in that situation that would be humbling. Yeah. And that it would be like, I need to you know sometimes kind of tone my shit down and like kind of it takes a big personality it. to sure. tone it down. So I understand where he's coming from. He was yeah. probably a very, very big personality in, in one of the videos where he's giving a sh kid shit after the game with Lamelo. Or I love that. that. Yeah, his and that's so, sure fair enough, right? So like, here's another video. Gotta the be video hard on that you're kids. talking about. Yeah. He scores thirty six or thirty eight. Yeah, but they lose because he doesn't play defense and showboating he reams him out. Yeah. like calls him out, and I love that. I love that. Yeah, to me that's my dad coached me when I was in soccer, and I was always got reamed harder than anyone else because he's like you're my son i can't i really? can't go soft on yeah. on you at all because it's it won't look good against other kids yeah. right so did that help um, you yeah and i understood it like i understood why and, yeah. and that kind of stuff and yeah i kind of also when your dad's kind of the coach you're kind of like mm, i, I can get that. maybe get away with stuff or whatever because i've been i've but, been watching a lot of videos of lavar with interacting with kids yeah and he's actually pretty awesome with them like he'll alienate all the adults with all his dumb stuff, yeah. but with kids, dude, he'll pose with them. He'll say like, "Go stay in school." There's one video that I saw where like the guy was like, "Hey, Lavar, hey, Lavar, who would win, Michael Jordan and somebody, mm -hmm. or you and me?" It's like, of course, man, you and me. Yeah, no, and, and that's and that, awesome yeah, to yeah, me, sure, right? Yeah. Like, so here's the thing: is I see what he's trying to do, and I used to hate this guy, honestly. Like, and I, it doesn't take a lot. It takes a lot for me to switch up because. I, I look at values and all this stuff. But to me, I think he's doing right. Everything that he's doing right now is just, he doesn't know how to run Everything a business. Everything he's doing, I think, think it's, it's his business. Right I think the right he, thing in business. I just said that he doesn't. He's obviously, you know, his family's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe his kids hate him or not. I don't know. Yeah. You know, from what we can see is like, they're pretty good. They've all grown up as, as premier athletes, except for the middle one. I don't know what he's doing. Um, he's going to be a cobbler. I think he's uh, still going to go to the YouTube shoes. Really. But yeah, he, he's, actually, he's making the ZO2s right now. Yeah. What's, the, what's that kid's? LiAngelo? LiAngelo's yeah, getting Liangelo. the emails. Yeah. He's like, you got another fucking shoe to make. Get to work. <laughs> well, two maybe, orders maybe, there, maybe there are no orders coming in. I don't know. But the um, thing, and yeah. I, I like, I agree that I, I don't doubt that he's probably a great dude at the base level. Mm -hmm. The problem that I see is that he may have already done too much damage yeah. in terms of public perception. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. your utopian, your perfect scenario of what this guy would have hoped for to create could very well be true. Yeah. But the reality is, is that there was likely 10 to 20 million on the table. Yeah. He said that he wanted a billion and the brands closed their doors to him. Billion. And now there are, you know, there are reports saying that brands are starting to warm up to him again. Yeah. Billion. But, then that brings into what we're talking about is, well, what does that do for the brand? Yeah. And, it's, you know, unless he gets back into that 10 to 20 million range for Alonzo, then uh, well, there was a, this is just a, 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 a useless publicity stunt. Here's my question. There's the, the patent that was put through today or yesterday oh, for yeah. Lamello's. Um, okay. whatever his shoe is nope. going to be through still the big a publicity baller. stunt forgot about that yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is still... tell me what so this is high school know. kids getting his own shoe yeah but he can't actually physically have, be licensed if he's going to be going to university yeah. he can't be a licensed yeah, athlete because he's a pro athlete yeah. Yeah. if he goes straight so, no, but they've, they put in the patent request for his or trademark shoe. his name yeah. so yeah. how does that work so he's going to be violating NC2A if he doesn't go straight to the association yeah but you have to, or else you play Europe. You have to play one year of college. Oh, now it's right. I completely forgot about that too. Right. So the main thing that he's going to do is play. It's just a fucking. Publicity it's all right. I heard he's going to dunk it anyway. Oh yeah. Look, do you believe in this big baller brand as a brand itself? No. Pierre. Pierre. <laughs> no. I think so. I think it has some legs. Would you spend money on this brand? No, I wouldn't. Well, then you, <laughs> you don't really believe in it. Because no, I don't yeah. like the lettering. Uh, I've. That's then, the one thing. But then, how I do don't you believe in it? Like, like, what do you? I think agree with the the. I agree with what I see. Like, remember, guys, I reach for emotional uh, emotional aspects. So then, for what's things. the what's the what's the message of the brand to you in 
What's How? the mission statement in 15 words or less to you? I, like, what do you see from this brand at 495 for shoes, 220 for slides, 50 bucks a piece for hats? You're telling me you like it, but you don't want to buy any of it. So, what is the message ultimately that's being conveyed to you? Interesting question because I actually don't see the shoe as a brand. I see the brand Jesus as Christ. a. Yeah, I see. I don't see the shoe. I see. Yeah, I think it's I find priced that, wrong for. For normies, but yeah. priced right for big ballers. That's okay, how about statement. this? Who who out there would buy the Z O Z O twos? Not until not until <laughs> they, they see it in hand. Like the game. fans of the brand, which they're they're not really a brand yet, or fans of the athlete who would buy the shoe. Okay, so athlete they're fans first, of the athlete. Probably. Okay, now that we can come to an agreement that people would buy it because of the athlete, what's going to happen if he's doing this free agency and he signs with say Nike? Yeah, now they're going to buy the Nike shoe. They're not going to buy the fucking So big now brand. he can't even wear the ZO2s what anymore. What if they negotiate that they ha- can? See, but then, impossible. Then, then, now, but now what's going to happen to that shoe? Yeah. yeah that what's going to happen? Who's going to buy the shoe yeah. after the athlete? You know, it's, it'll it? be a collector's item if they even make delivery in November. Yeah. Like they might not even have that athlete by the time the shoe ships. That's so, true. Yeah. So here's my question about me, It's vaporware. And here's the thing. Do you do you guys think that fingerware? Vaporware. 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 Do you guys think that I'm putting way too much value on the person or the message instead cuz what you guys are looking at as it is in a, in a business standpoint. The shoe, oh the uh the hats and the 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 sweatshirts, but the one thing that I can relate to somehow that I've gravitated to somehow is that oh shit, I kind of like how they're saying freedom. I like that. Of course. But the message is great. It's they just, have to switch the message. It's just you not, have to monetize it. Stay in your lane a, was not helping them whatsoever. You can't sincerely well, mean t-shirts. that well, for, message yeah, if you want to stay in business. And but yeah, Basically, but, they're but saying it, like buy our competitors. But wouldn't, be, wouldn't, be, wouldn't I be a, a starting point to sell something to? But you're, you're saying you're not willing to buy. So it's just entertainment to you. What yeah. if there it's is... It's just wholesome entertainment. The message is wholesome to you and that's okay, it. Okay, what if they change it, the branding to something that is like a Chicago... Um, lettering on your jersey. You and legit I love just that. don't like the way the brand logo looks, dude. It's fucking B- three B's. Better business bureau. <laughs> it's fucking Pretty three close. B's. They ball I understand. The hat is like gaudy, in my opinion. Like you can get it in Chinatown. No offense, but <laughs> like, look, I f- man. Like, I want well, that's like exactly our point, clean then, looks. Relative. Like the brand itself. It's the same thing is, as Joe as wanting nope, to have it's something. It's the opposite no. because I buy Parleys for the cause, despite a silhouette that's not top shelf. But I'm shelf not for gonna me. buy something just because of message. I want something else to make me. But then buy you something. don't support that message fully, and I don't like. No, I don't. I f- support the message, but I don't support the product. So then, it's entertainment. They can't what, sincerely then that's be not behind bankable. that message. That's not bankable. If they want that's, to stay in that's, business, that's it's that's counterintuitive See, that's to what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying like. Yeah. For our brand to build, you must buy other brands. What the fuck kind of business <laughs> See, but, motto is that? Okay, like, guys, model is that? All I'm saying is that there's four of us here, and the three, which is majority of the four, agree that this is not both best business practices, yeah. right? And I'm the one that's gravitating towards emotion. And there's not a lot Look, of guys. And unanimously, none of us will buy this shit. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. of course. But so they they failed. What about what about this? <laughs> Lower price point. Really good um, technology and this good message. Yeah, entry level shit should be around hundred dollars, yeah. two hundred dollars. Okay, Can what they if they do that? that what if they do that? What if they do that? Then I won't shit on them as hard. Okay, yeah, but you can't. But we I'll still need say, proof. We still need to see I'm the saying, product. I'm saying, yeah. but there is a chance, right? There, there's no, always, no, there always isn't. Nah. As as of this. Uh, pro- trajectory of how they're running their business, there's no chance they can't sell off. Eighty to a hundred dollars shoe there's and no the slides is two hundred. Yeah, there's no. So going you're back saying that you, they can't change their nah, business dude, plan the right now? Nah, dude. The keys are in. The launch codes in. It fucking nuke buttons hit. <laughs> okay. You can't really it, reverse it's done. it. You got to send out fighter jets to shoot it down. Dollar brand. Okay. No okay. Saving. Like, what are I you get it, do guys. Now? I I get it. I get it. It's really hard to turn it. Yeah, turn the message around. I think around that it's still okay, but again, I'm not majority. Message is great. Go follow your dreams. I don't give a fuck. Like, do whatever you want, but don't expect support if you don't even have a concise message of what you're trying to do yep. mm-hmm. don't be like big baller brand da, 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 and say how fucking elitist you are and yeah. then be like oh go be yourself do whatever you want i'm like 
not going to make I'm, any money that I, way. I, I have a, I'm confused with your message. I understand. You know what I mean? There's I a conflict of interest. Here's the thing. I used to think like that too, but I've changed since there are recent things that I've read towards them. Like, okay, he, he's a good dad. He Are um, we talking about the dude or the brand? Well, the dude is the brand. Okay, but again, you're yeah. not buying. Well, I but again, like if you locals. have to ask that question, <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> is, then we don't know you don't what like it his is. Message we don't know enough. what the brand is. I like the message, but I just don't like the product. And well, then, see, that's the difference between the people who have bought pre-orders who aren't just straight Alonzo fans because there have been some people out there yeah. that uh, have chimed in that they're buying pairs because they respect what he's trying to do as, as an entrepreneur, okay. an African-American, black Good entrepreneur, point. whatever Man, you want to look at it. Dude, you're killing mm-hmm. me. You're like changing everything. You're right. You're absolutely right because there are people out there that have the money. And I know you're not racist. No, so I'm not. I, know I, love, not. I love black people. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> We know Show it's me not the that. Show me the money. <laughs> we know it's not that. No, We're just going to eliminate that. I just that don't have that. money for a $495 shoe that's not proven, right? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I just don't. <coughs> Most Air Max ones just like. Hey, let's prove it. <laughs> I know. That's but that's, it's that's iconic. It's, yeah. What's the message? It's It doesn't relate to me in that sense. It, it's I not going to push me to buy something. All right. So, so you have no argument, Pierre. What do you mean no <laughs> argument? I, I'm not arguing anything, guys. I'm I agree just, that he could be a good dude. I agree that. Yeah. I'm just saying that I like the he's message. Probably, I like what he's done. And we haven't even talked about the sneaker frenzy. That, like to what, wear what whatever. Frenzy? What frenzy? Everyone is up in. Everyone is talking about what's the next shoe that he's going to wear or what this, how this affects his future. Right? I'm curious to what's going to happen. <laughs> There was a meme was showing him wearing Timbaland. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like that was going to be the that. next shoe. And I was like, all right. If he fucking, if, uh, according, the to, summer league gum, a little according longer, to, to P, gum if he puts out a yeah. triple double, yeah, it'll be awesome. Soul. Gum soul. It's that gum, gum soul. Soul. Yeah, triple double. <laughs> okay, what do you think is going to happen with this whole thing? How he's wearing all these, what's his end game? Is he shopping around for a contract? I don't yeah, know. I think he is. I, th- I honestly, Pierre, you honestly don't think he's shopping for a contract. Right um, okay. Um, if I'm gonna go by past history, I am gonna say yes, he is shopping for a contract because is he abandoning his brand? Not I, his brand. I don't know. Yes, but it's his, his brand. brand. I don't know. It's his name on the fucking shoe. The shoe is his shoe, but the brand might not be his. <laughs> 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 It would be like okay. saying, oh, Le- like Nike is LeBron's brand. That's Maybe not, he is trying that's to... That's not exactly correct. Is he abandoning... Reignite his- stuff. Okay. Maybe he's trying to reignite with... Yeah, that's you know, true, too. Getting the like, talks I mean, going on his own. Jumpman is Nike, and Nike is Jumpman. And if he... L- not leaves, but if he signs a contract with any other of the big three or whoever... Uh, then he has to abandon like the. Big he will players. have. He to. probably that's will. It's not going to happen. He probably here. will. There's no co-signing this contract. I you think know the what I, mean? f- I think the father was just saying that you can wear whatever you want. Then the zero two dies. But no, but that's but maybe he's gotten two more kids. Yo, but so he can just which? go he's with got those. One and, shoes, and a half right? more kids. One and a half. <laughs> one's cobbling. One's made but wearing imagine, them. Imagine testing. a basketball but, player that can wear any type of basketball shoe. That'd be great. Yeah, you won't make any money off of it. Not very good basketball players. You know this. The, yeah. the the middle to the low end, like they still sign an entry level endorsement deal to make sure. What if or you... if they're really shitty, they still. I'm positive they still sign something to be given free product. What if they are so good that you can dictate and change the game? He's not that good. Jordan wasn't that good. Triple double MVP. If you're that good, good. Okay, so, so look, now look. we're talking. If Mike couldn't do it, who's the greatest of all time? I'm not saying who's the greatest of all time. But now Summer League MVP is now just so going to blow the doors over. Draft. It's a building block to something. <laughs> he got successful. MVP. Did any of the other rookies that played end up with any of the stats? Like Wait till that? he plays with the big boys. He, there's actually um, um, a, we only a know duo. these stats because someone else posted it, and there's only focus on this kid. No, maybe one of those other he made g- so kids got the, just the same stats. The Lakers, but the Lakers didn't win MVP. The Lakers won uh, the championship because yeah. there's a two duos, and it was Kuz, Kuzma yeah. um, that he was running with, and he went off for like 38 points. He made the team better. Is why is why he is went. he a forward that guy? He's, is he is he a white dude? Light skin brother. Oh, because yeah. there was another guy that got signed by Nike just recently. That well, was Fultz from... did. Oh, Washington. is that him? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a no brainer. He did nothing. Didn't have to do anything. Yeah. Probably ten to twenty. How much? Million. Ten to twenty. Pro- I'm get- that's ballpark. That's what they were saying yeah. would be the entry level. Well, I don't agree with. I I don't disagree that. I don't you, understand that why you would why wear different shoes go. unless you're wear testing them in public for some reason, no. like for He's tech. Shopping. But you would do that at home. You'd rip them. Yeah, apart I think instead. he's trying to bait. One of the brands and is saying, "Wow, he looks great in that. We should probably." Who would be the him. one that would be yeah. baited? You think? 
under probably armor. Under Armour at this point. It would be the brand that's hurting the most. Like it would, Nike wouldn't be like, nah, nah fuck n- yeah. Like Nike holds grudges, no. man. They won't. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty old school. That's why they'll. Rent and they're a tight knit family. Yeah. It's like the old guys that sit in the thing from the Muppets. Waldorf Nike's and like that. Yeah, they're yeah. like that. They're like, hey, no, we're not going to hurt that kid. Uh, <laughs> Shouting down from the balcony <laughs> seats. <laughs> but remember, guys, old guys die. Zio too. And, and Dude, how about this right now? <laughs> okay. Let's make a prediction before the season starts. Yeah. What oh. shoe is is uh, Alonzo Ball going to be exclusively balling in? It might be the start of the season. might be five years from now. But what shoe do you think he'll be exclusively inked in what like we'll be playing full By time this, in this season. this season what do you mean five, five years. years from now he might not sign with a shoe company for the next five years you never well, know but which shoe do you think where he's gonna wear like, exclusively oh, no, i it, think he's absolutely gonna be signed or relegated to big baller brand by october 6 or whatever. okay so that's your call he'll be wearing his own shoe no other shoe. No, 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 no I'm saying shoe. it's going to happen this year. I don't think okay. it's, we're going to be wearing. But what, five he years. wants to know, like, let's make a, all make a prediction on what shoe he's going to be wearing. Which and he's going to be wearing which, on a regular basis. He's going to take, take money. He's gonna, they've got to take money. Well, oh, fuck. I'll say Under Armour. Hmm. Okay. How about you, Pierre? That's the money bet. I think. I say he's going to be the first person to wear two shoes. Okay. And it'll be. In what brand? So he bet on Zero. white. <laughs> he bet on double zero. <laughs> he'll, he <laughs> he'll be wearing two brands, and it'll be Nike and Under Armour. Won't even be. Uh, so no, he'll be. Brand. He'll, so he didn't bet do... black or red. He bet on I double zero. I think he's double gonna z- break the white. grain and be like that one athlete where he can wear a. F- so what brand then? It's Under Armour. Yeah, Under Armour and his own brand. So Under then Armour he actually him. won't be signed. To, I'm telling you, I, I don't think. I know it's, it's hard. I know. I know. I, I know. No way they're going to let him. There's do no that logistics in without, it. Without paying him. a decision for right? free, like, of course, any brand's going to let them wear his shoes. Like, oh yeah, they, they won't be paying him for if, exposure. If yeah, yeah. 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 worth yeah. it alone. Yeah. They won't to throw him a two hundred dollars shoe. They won't be paying him if he's wearing ball brand. But you didn't say who he's getting paid by. We just said what shoe is he going to be wearing exclusively. Yeah. So what's your call? Uh, I want to say Adidas. Adidas is hurting for signature athletes. Right really, now. especially Harden? in the basketball. Harden don't sell, and no. Rose is fucking dead in the water. Yeah, that's true. D Rose. So do they get? Yeah. Does he get his own signature shoe, Andrew or does Wiggins. he wear someone else's from there? Does Who he knows, wear man. like a Harden or a? Maybe he didn't have good numbers. Maybe he'll do a deal where like he won't get a signature shoe, but he can only wear that brand, mm. just so that he can have yeah. his own quote unquote signature shoe well, with and like a PE, be- like Kawhi Leonard. Well, kind of like uh, what's his face? He's uh, gonna get a crazy Westbrook. Explosive. He doesn't have a signature shoe. Yeah, but he wears uh, Air Jordans. Yeah, but you know he's the ambassador of that of yeah. that shoe, n- <sighs> not just Nike, but like that silhouette. And that's and that's all the my all the brands Westbrook. have already got their signature. There's always marquee room for player. One more. There's always it's not so a signature. It's a it might be like maybe he 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 won't wear it. Yeah. but he's he's got a signature shoe with BBB. Yo, mind you, guys. but he's wearing Adidas full time. Mind you guys, yeah. this guy is, hasn't even played a game in regular season yet. So this is all yeah, like... He, might be, he yeah. still might be a right? regular season bust. Say, for example, mid-season, he blows... Like, he's blowing blows up. Blows a knee. He, <laughs> Both knees. Ankles. Done. <laughs> Big ball he up. explodes. Big ball. Yeah. Forrest Gump from the waist down. Yeah. <laughs> Hospital wear. <laughs> I, I'm going to go way out there and say that he's he, he's going to... Do the lifestyle. He's gonna wear the whatever the fuck he wants. He doesn't get to get paid, <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna play in Kobe's the whole time. Kobe's first game, yeah, for first free. first game. I'm gonna say whether he wears it for the whole season. He's uh, not maybe. gonna buy though. He's probably gonna get them given to him. So he's still not. no, but yeah, he's yeah. not for getting free. Paid. He's not getting he's not paid, paid to paid. wear yeah. them. Yeah. Which no, is, no, no. Which, which we're not which saying the, that. We're the, just the, saying which ones is he gonna yeah. play in. Which is like the brands will love. Of course, yeah, they're gonna love it. That's why. So that's why I'm gonna say Kobe's because he. He performed the best in them, and he's, he'll probably wear them. Is it bad for an athlete and he's to be to wearing him. a shoe from a brand? You don't have a brand. You're a good athlete, and you're not getting paid for it. And you just pick whatever you would like playing in? Is, that's, it's who? dumb. It's dumb. Well, that's half the NBA, isn't it? Well, yeah, then you're not that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's like just every... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you're good... It's and like the, all the guys sitting on the bench. And you don't require that. payment for wearing the shoes of a brand. Mm-hmm. You're stupid. What? If well, no, they just might not get paid by them. Yeah, that's a dumb business move. You're, they, it you're, is, You're right? turning down money like the Ball family did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this was a lot longer than the stupid, big right? Ball it is. Stupid yeah. was the word you used. Love the message, but stupid. <laughs> so the stupid guy has the great message is what you've just said. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, it's, it's, I, I've always agreed with you when it comes okay, to the just, business just practice. Stupid messages, good. No, messages are good. Stupid business practices. Oh. Look, the part that yeah. irks me the most is that he might have... LeVar, I'm talking about. He might have cost his kid tens of millions of dollars. You estimate of over the course of... Well, who knows? Summer League, maybe the MVP and winning that championship chain and everything. But they were... like Outside forecasting was 200 to 300 million. Career. That's a lot of yeah. money. It yeah. might still happen. Don't get me wrong. But the immediacy and the security of that money rolling in vanished because he had to ask for fucking billion. Yeah. B- like, billion? <laughs> you, you might as well have been Austin billion? Powers. Been if like, you want a billion, go fucking, like, Sicilian dollars. Like a billion. Does he even know how many zeros yeah. is in a billion? <laughs> yeah. If you want a billion, like, go invent PayPal. Like, you, you don't just ask Ball for pal. a billion dollars. <laughs> maybe, you work for a maybe, billion dollars. Okay, maybe in the number one thing that he has on his list for top three uh, reasons or what not to do <laughs> is don't request a billion. <laughs> no, that's just a stupid what if he, number. I He's know. trolling Nike. I, no, what if he just realized it? Okay, oh, you know what? We're going to calm down in the billion next time. Let's let's go shoot for something attainable. I know now. How about ten bucks? <laughs> like, I'll start to bring the ten. Yeah, ten. exactly. We got Nike. We got Adidas. Twenty, twenty-five. And the one thing too is that the his comment about brand ambassadors and how they're nothing without the players. Again, so you right. you touched on that a little bit. Touched on it. I kind of agree, sure agree on it because if it wasn't, it's like chicken and the egg, though, right? Who's more valuable, the brand? Or the person that is endorsing that brand. It goes hand in hand, dude. Yeah, but I mean, we if you want to look to the most accurate example we can pull out, the like the, the Phil Knight memoir, Shoe Dog, the brand was always is always growing. And yes, they brought in athletes right from the beginning. Uh Prefontaine, you know, they, they made a move to get the blazer and the Bruin on the feet of the players, a bunch of no names at the time, mm-hmm. to get their visibility. So the, the chicken and the egg uh, analogy of brands and athletes, what we had talked about with uh, Phil Knight's memoir, Shoe Dog, was that the brand was there first, factually, and was constantly growing, mm-hmm. whether it's small increments or big increments. And then they try to bring these athletes in to, uh, you know, uh, accelerate their visibility. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 a pretty bold statement to say that a, a, a the biggest footwear and apparel company, sportswear company, is uh, nothing without the athletes yeah. when they're cutting the checks to the athletes. Would it? But if you look at the recent mentality nowadays, we've talked about this already. The Kanye factor. Where he's the guy that is, you know, calling, not calling all the shots, but is the main guy for Adidas and reason for huge visibility, right? May not translate into profit uh, monetary wise, but visibility, he's there. But each each of those things, in, in using Nike's term, they refer to their marketing budget as demand creation so they have these the stable of athletes and collaborators in there that all get lumped in with marketing and we can debate to the end of time whether or not those marketing figures can be accurately portrayed which i fully agree it's really tough without the clearly contacts promo code that lets you know you fucking saw that ad on a bus stop basically (laughs) is what it comes down to so there's no way to know for 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 absolute certainty but they they lump that in there. So that's a line item in their budgeting, mm-hmm. which using whatever metric they use to calculate their profitability. And at whatever point they decide that the lowest guy on the rung isn't profitable anymore. Like I, I remember like they had a bunch of Nike had a bunch of marquee athletes in the aughts, like in the early two thousands. Yeah. And tons. they just started cutting them because it wasn't profitable. Yeah. So these guys ended up going the route of leaning or peak or anta or whatever yeah. it was, right? So like they they have their tolerance, we'll say, but it's always to feed the business and its mm-hmm. profitability. Mm-hmm. They know their threshold of of uh, risk assessment and, yeah. and things like that where that's concerned. So it's a pretty ball bold <laughs> statement to it say is. that they're nothing without because you can. They have their metric, and uh, you know Nike and the other guys looked at their metric and said, you know what, I don't think we can afford a billion dollars to pay this kid. <laughs> <laughs> and still maintain our our bottom line. Look, so man, I think we're gonna it's pass. Not, it's, it's a not tough that one, but the the athletes make the brand. It's successful athletes make the brand. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, of course, you got to cut down fucking some dead weight down there. Uh, but it's too early to call the Alonzo Ball a a successful athlete. It's True. way too early for that. To date, he is. And to date, for, he is. <laughs> and for whatever shoe company could have allegedly offered them money, yeah, like that's an offer. Mm-hmm. At their whatever they value him at, mm-hmm. but we got um, Lavar saying that no, he's worth this much, yeah. which sounds a little ridiculous. Yeah, um, that kind of I, it's it just seems like they don't know the value of currency, mm-hmm. and that they're marketing their shit at five hundred dollars a piece Maybe or whatever. He was talking rupees instead of. Uh, I, I totally yeah, agree with that. Guys. Fucked up the currency exchange. Like, well, they're getting made in Vietnam, so, so four ninety five. Uh, <laughs> ten Ching billion. billion. Yeah. I need to ask for ten billion. It's like, how do you get a guy that doesn't know money to run a business? <laughs> money, absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> John Malkovich did for a second. Absolutely. No, your money. It, it's 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 totally true. The, the, I, the one thing really, dude, is, again, I can relate to the branding aspects because for us, right, each one of us here is a brand, in my opinion, right? We have all characters that we sell for p- listeners to come and try. I, I don't sell myself anymore. You're hypeless Joe. <laughs> <laughs> You're hypeless Joe. You have no hype. That's a brand. Volume. Three years ago, That's I a stopped brand. selling myself. <laughs> yeah. Eugene's the guy that doesn't DS any Cheap of his anyway. shit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> And I'm the guy that, you know, we all know and we, we, we have a brand. I'm in sales and whatever brand that I have will, will dictate my success as a salesman, in my opinion. Each one of us has that, in my opinion. So that's why I can relate to it, right? If this is their lifestyle choice and they're selling a lifestyle, which I see, hey, more power to you. But if you're going to get me to sell more, um, to buy in your product, um, make nicer stuff. Yeah. That's what I think. See, unproven product at a uh, astronomical fucking price point. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it but just, don't you have like a, a a certain what's the word I'm looking for um, requirement? Let you where you work now that when you're selling that you have to um, endorse and kind of represent the brand in a positive way, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, but he's not he's not doing that to his own brand. To his own brand. So I that's have, my point. I am the beholder, my friend. Right? So, so <laughs> it works on some people. Yes, you have to sell the product. <laughs> Whether you believe in it or not is beside the point. It's better that you do believe in it. Yeah. But you also have to be able to convey a positive message with it. Otherwise, See, other people aren't going to be interested in whatever it is that you're trying to, it's the opposite, shit that you're shoveling, right? It's opposite of what Joe has because Joe, like, it might be a good product. You know, it might be, it might be, everyone loves it. You know, yeah. everyone, everyone's lining up for it, but there's not that one cause that I can relate to mm-hmm. that will get me to buy something. He just bought Ultra Boost um, after like Two, four three years. years. Yeah. Four years. Because of what? Because it's recycled. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. What, what if the ZO2s are made of a recycled bottle? Cool. Cool. I should have used that, right? It's Did also you, a yeah. proven ZO2 product. ZO2 recycled stuff. <laughs> Good thing you did, motherfucker. <laughs> no, you can't be at hello. <laughs> Four ninety five, but they recycle a hundred plastic bottles. Dude. <laughs> it's uh, actually plastic just bottle. a plastic bottle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just you can still yeah. read the yeah. labels on the shirt. Right. Well, Aquafina ZO two Prime. <laughs> That's about it. And thank you guys because I know it was kind of like there's two of these topics that I actually like relate the most. Mm. You guys were mean but also kind at the same time. I don't think you I was mean, mean kind of. Mean? Yeah, like kind of mean. All right. We call that fair. But it was good. <laughs> we were all friends at the end of this day, fair. right? Yeah, exactly. And to all our listeners, you know, it was thank you for bearing with us. I hope that was awesome for you because It'll be fun. you're just like you're done. Like it's so funny. Fire. You're just like I'm. I'm quitting. It just like okay, it's gone. See you guys. <laughs> no, I'm quitting after this. This is a hard it just, stuff. The, the, it's the like the just stops right here. <laughs> just cuts into silence. Is that you hit your you final know? drink like and you're like, oh, it just the... goes to yeah, black. Just black for it. thirty minutes. I still need to work on my transition. That's why. But this is. Uh, so are, are we officially? Are we done now? Yeah, Un- yeah, unless you want to talk about something. Oh yeah. No, I just I was just. It's very abrupt. Before we sign off, Pierre, how do you think you did on this hosting gig? I give him. 
Nine point five. Mm. Think, Very dude. near dead stock. Yo, dude, that means Very near dead stock. Yo, Tried from, on inside. Yeah, coming from Joe, that means a it's lot. Brand it's brand new. Good. You're yeah. brand new. And I like the I like the the little game things too. Yeah. It's kind of fun to kind of get. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, dude, you can cut whatever you want. Yeah. You asked me to do it, and I don't want to disappoint you. So that's all. No, I man. know that you put a lot of fucking effort in this, man. I know people so. want to see Pierre uncut. <laughs> Show him here. Oh, I, I don't want to do that actually. And actually, I actually Outtakes? have. You know how you say um, "happy hunting" at the end. Yeah. I actually have one. Oh, he's got oh, his own catchphrase. I got my own. Oh, oh, Before we sign, sign off, off. Like the two couple. So, how do we do this? So how just a couple we... of things. I, was, I just want to say. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for hosting. First of all, yeah, yeah good job, buddy. It's actually nice. R- really nice not having to think. Yeah, I know. I want to uh, be in that seat next time. So <laughs> it's really nice having to be like, oh, I'll, I'm just going to answer your question now. That's yeah. that's much more uh uh, my kind of thing maybe you'll host more often uh <laughs> second of all i just want to give a shout out to all our sister podcasts out there uh so first of all there is a sneaker box podcast every sunday you can catch them on itunes and on youtube and on monday there's the monday midsole you can catch them at 8 p.m eastern on the youtubes and on wednesday there's soul food sneaker talk also on youtube 8 p.m eastern uh shout out again to all our sister podcasts out there actually uh, the two live ones on monday and wednesday I actually joined them live on the chat um almost every time i make it back home uh, from work on time mm-hmm. so a uh, shout out to them and of course of course once again i would like to remind everybody that the podcast is back on itunes Yay. and um if you're on the website watching this or whatever the links will be down below also on youtube uh if you're <laughs> listening to this exclusively we are also on youtube you can watch this podcast and video form in 1080p and uh, that's basically it so pierre do your thing awesome and so for the sneaker files podcast this is eugene jason joe my name is pierre peace love and unity um oh fuck it <laughs> i'm leaving that in but no wait peace, peace love and unity be kind to your community <laughs> <laughs>